this will be how I know I'm, uh, oh, wow. That is really low. Ooh, excuse me. That is really low latency. There's about three to four seconds of lag time on this versus normally there's about 30. So we'll, uh, we'll wait here, let people get, uh, showing up. I think Ray is just getting off work, so he'll be here a little later. Tally said she'll be here around 7.30. Yeah, we're... The, the, the auto fellatio was always a joke. That It's always joking that this is the equivalent of me sucking my own dick by holding a QA and a and playing Battlefield 3, which was the first cast. <laughs> Late? Who's late? You? You're late? I'm not late. I started at 6 p.m. <laughs> but I thought this would be fun, and I do want to. I I want to remake the original cast because it's a little dated. There's also I I watched it today because I hadn't watched it in a while. There's a couple of odd choices for jokes. <laughs> I think it just happened to be very of the time. Hey, Ray. Hey. Yeah, old videos, old jokes type of thing. Yeah. I I was surprised that there was an Uber joke. There wasn't a two stars joke, but, like, mentioning Uber was there in the first cast. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? I prefer Dr. Pepper, though if I have to choose between Coke or Pepsi, it's Coke. I, like, Pepsi... I, I don't know. I don't like the taste of Pepsi. I guess there's nothing more you can say about a soda but yeah i don't like the taste of pepsi thoughts on big chungus i fucking hate that meme so much <laughs> big chungus, that that big meme was chungus. that move that that meme was one of those like really early in the year memes that was just extremely unfunny because the joke was huh it's big chungus and that's it that's the whole joke where did you get the idea to start your cast uh so I knew that I wanted to do video essays of some kind because at the time I had just been clipping like highlights and throwing those together and that was easy to edit and it was kind of boring. So I knew I wanted to do something with a script structure, but I also knew that I'm not smart enough or organized enough to talk about something interesting in a cohesive way. So I was like, okay, I know what I want to do is make fun of bad games. So I, I, Battlefield 3 immediately came to mind because this game sucks. The, the campaign. And so I was like, okay, not really sure what exactly I'm going to do with it. But I'll just play through it. We'll make, we'll, you know, uh, we'll make fun of it. And I'll come up with something at the end. So then I just ended up summarizing the thing and, and making fun of the game that way. And that just became the format. Um, and I think, I think there was like a year or or almost two year gap between this and the next cast because uh, I just I was satisfied with this and then I moved on but I'm I'm just I'm glad that this caught on and that people enjoy the the format it's fucking great yeah. uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield Battlefield I've I've always preferred more open map designs and, and things like that. And we're, we're not talking campaigns because both the campaigns are just dog shit. But like multiplayer wise, uh, Battlefield. Nowadays, I might choose Call of Duty. Like I, I, it's been a while since I've played a Battlefield game. Like I played a little bit of 2042, but I've played quite a bit of Warzone. Um, not in a while, but like, I definitely enjoyed Warzone, so maybe nowadays it is Call of Duty. Just because they're putting out more stuff in, in more quantity and quality than Battlefield is. Which is such a shame. Um, yeah, I definitely like some portions of each above the other. So ultimately it just depends on who's playing what if I want to play with other people. Tom like I or, had a lot of fun with 2042. Yeah. Tom or Jerry? Tom? Jerry's a little shitbag. <laughs> <laughs> Was Battlefield 3 the one with the two millisecond instant kill melee? I don't know what that means. 
Uh, sorry, I was just Austin DM me something. You're talking about getting Ty later. Uh, oh, yeah. Am I going to do real thoughts again? I didn't do real thoughts in the first place on this. Or do you just mean in general for the channel? Because I, I do want to get real thoughts going again as a series. It's uh, and, and I should be able to have more time to do that now. It's just, I, I know a lot of people like real thoughts. But the amount of people that like real thoughts is like one-tenth the amount of people who like Cass. So I've just had to focus on Cass more because the amount of effort it takes to do a real thoughts was just not worth the views that it was getting, even if people liked those. Um, so I, I do want to do real thoughts again, but um, it, it may be a little while longer because right now I've got um, Scoob, who's my, my new editor, so he's working on like off projects while I work on the, the main stuff. I, like, I had him edit uh, Alien Isolation and then hand that to me so I can write a script, which I'm working on now. He's working on Mass Effect 2, because those are old, old footage that I've had on the hard drive forever. Um, so I could potentially give him, like, real thought stuff to do. Uh, I, I definitely do want to do it again. Uh, would I ever review Rainbow Six? Uh, I, I tried to do the multiplayer thing with, like... Apex and that video didn't do very well. Uh, the Helldivers video did a little bit better. So like I've been tempted to do like a video on like the Halo multiplayer or Call of Duty multiplayer or Rainbow Six Siege. But like it's a lot of effort for potentially a video that people aren't going to like. And with the nature of these games, they change so much that the videos will just become dated. Whereas a campaign mode doesn't usually change. So, like, already my Helldivers video is out of uh, out of date, and it's only been a couple of weeks. The Apex video is ancient now. It's it's seasons behind. Um, and that would be this... It would be the same problem with, like, Rainbow Six Siege uh, or even Call of Duty, where things just change so often that, like, I don't know if that really fits the format. I think they're fun, um, but I'm... I don't know. Thoughts on the end of 2042? I don't really know anything about that. Uh, uh, what are we seeing in the future? The future! Future. <laughs> future. Right, I'm checking pad tie stuff. Uh, ba -ba -ba. One of those people like real notes. What mechanics and or modes do I really enjoy in sci-fi FPS games? That's a hard question to like pin down anything specific because for me, just an FPS in general, um, I for my, I have a very simple FPS checklist, which is the guns should feel fun to shoot, it should feel good to move around, and the enemies should be fun to kill. And you'd be surprised at how many FPS games fail that, like. Uh, and, and not so much anymore. I think they've gotten over that hump, but like especially in the um, like early 2000s and 2010s, there were a lot of FPS games that just they put it in first person and they thought that would sell. So like shooting the enemies didn't feel good, and moving around was clunky, and firing the guns was clunky, and the animations were just shit. So. Th that's what I look for in an FPS game, and I think that also transfers to sci-fi. Like, I'm fine with the sci-fi FPS being mostly the same as a regular FPS, just in a sci-fi setting, which is basically what Halo is. There's not anything that crazy with Halo that would set it apart the, from, like, a normal FPS if you just put a normal coat of paint over it, I think. I mean, there, there's a couple in, like, Infinite now, but... Uh, and, and in the campaigns, it, the presentation is a little different, but... I think uh, those would be my three things for, for just an FPS in general. I also really like um, when sci-fi guns are designed unrealistically, where, like, to me, the, the less realistic a gun design is, the more unique it stands out. Um, and so th I was thinking of, like, so many games do, like, a bow or a crossbow. And I was thinking Halo Infinite actually does have a crossbow, which is the skewer, which you don't immediately think of as a crossbow because it's doing its 
job well as uh, of hiding that as a crossbow because it doesn't look or sound like a crossbow, but it acts like a crossbow. Where you you load the the bar into the thing and you fire it and then you crank it back or whatever like a crossbow. Um, so I would like to see more games take like a very standard gun design and like make something fun with it, you know, where a lot of games are just like the destiny is a perfect example. When they added bows, the bows in destiny are just bows. They're just regular bows. It's like, okay. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about the skewer that way. Out of, uh, Oh, is it, let's see. Uh, favorite or least favorite game? I have several favorite games. It depends on the mood. Um, so I'll, I I had wanted to make a video on that, but I ended up I couldn't end up writing it in a way that didn't sound kind of dry. But like I love XCOM 2. I love a lot of the Halos. Um, I love Baldur's Gate 3. I like uh, Elden Ring a lot. Uh, Risk of Rain 2. Just it really depends on what I want to play. Um, GTA Online, <laughs> despite agreeing with all the criticisms about GTA Online. I love GTA Online. Um, mostly just because I like open world games and I like playing with friends, and that's like the best option for a open world game to play with friends, which is kind of sad. Uh, out of all the Call of Duty games I've played, which one is my favorite? I mean, that's like asking me which flavor of shit I like to eat. It's That's a hard question. And I don't really think I could think of one that I actually consider a favorite. They're all... Black Ops 2. I, sure, we'll go with Black Ops 2. That's not true. <laughs> Most favorite of them all. Here we're lying, it's actually World at War. Uh, the rest of Cyberpunk 2077 coming? Yeah, I've put that a little bit on hold because the first Cyberpunk video didn't do well, so I've been focusing on this month should be Alien Isolation and... Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, Scoob is working on Mass Effect 2, but then I should be able to finish Cyberpunk, and then he edited Phantom Liberty, so I should be able to get those up back-to-back. -back. Uh, Metal Gear Infinite Ammo or Mass Effect Infinite Ammo? What is Mass Effect Infinite Ammo? Are you just talking about, like, Mass Effect 1, like, cooldown with the infinite ammo? Because I fucking hated that. Those weapons overheated so fast. Uh, so, Metal Gear, infinite ammo. I mean, the bandana is just cool, right? Have you ever played oh, Battlefront? Yeah, I've played both the original good. Battlefront and the the uh, remakes. Um, I think the original Battlefronts work a little bit better than the remakes because I don't think Battlefront fits the structure of a battlefield game where it's like uh you know like 64 v 64 or whatever it is um i think battlefront would have worked much better if it was a titanfall style where it's like 5 v 5 but then padded out with bots so there's like you know a couple dozen bots um that way when people are using the heroes it doesn't. F you're you're not just like a regular soldier getting beaten by a hero and and av having absolutely no chance of beating them because that's not fun. But if you do it the Titanfall way, where like all the grunts are just normal people, then you just have five v five versus people who like upgrade quickly to the heroes, and then everybody gets to be a hero because you're not like sitting there waiting for a hero unit while like thirty other people are also waiting for a hero unit to snipe it from you, and like it's just that that structure didn't really work for me. I think it's fun, and I think it's one of the best-looking Star Wars games um, just because the Frostbite engine's beautiful and the sound design is amazing. But I just don't think... Uh, I don't think the remakes were all that great. Um, and I don't think the originals have aged all that well, either. They're a little... Eh, in, like, every aspect, and those remasters they did recently are fucking awful. Do I play Apex? Yeah, I've played Apex in the past. I've pretty much given up on it at this point. Um, it's so sweaty. I don't know what they've done with their MMR, but it's incredibly sweaty, and I just can't have fun with it anymore because you you just encounter one squad and you just get wiped off the fucking planet. It's it's tough, and I've, I've moved on from, like... PvP in general is appealing to me less and less because I just want to have fun with friends, and PvP is really hard to do that. <laughs> It, it depends, 
sometimes I'm in the mood for it, but like we'll play Halo Infinite. Uh, I love how people are still asking me what videos I'm going to do, even though I pinned a message in the stream saying I'm not going to answer those. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the GTA cast. Yeah, I've, I've got GTA recorded, and I just need to edit that. Did I ever play Rogue Squadron? I have not played Rogue Squadron. Have I seen Dune Part 2? I haven't seen Dune Part 1. <laughs> I've never heard of Dune until Dune Part 2 dropped. I'm like, the fuck is this? You What? Yeah, never heard of it. Do you live under a rock? Uh, no, I live in the Upper Peninsula, but it's the same thing. Okay, yeah, because not only is Dune like one of the most influential sci-fi things of all time... The first movie was also like majorly big when that came out. Uh, what music do I like? I like all kinds of music. Um, lately, I listen to a lot of electronic rock. Uh, actually, something that was really cool was Austin had DM'd uh, Battle Tapes, which is one of my favorite bands on Instagram, about me and how I was, uh, according to Spotify, like one of their like top. 0.01% of listeners every year or something like that. And they were like, oh, cool. We'll, we'll follow him on YouTube. So they are subscribed to me. Their subscriptions aren't public, so I can't actually prove it. But they are subscribed to me, I promise. <laughs> which is which is pretty cool. Ravioli or SpaghettiOs? Ravioli. SpaghettiOs are just... It's just canned mid. spaghetti. Yeah. Ravioli, you can get, like, fresh made and everything. It's so much better. Do you ever choose to not play games based on some of the things the devs have done? That's kind of vague, but yes. I mean, with, with, with the vagueness of that question, it could be the devs have decided to make a game a real-time strategy game, and I will not play that. I think I understand what I, you mean by like the, the devs making decisions that are like just bad and that will put me off of a game. And so, yes, that has happened. I mean, that's kind of what happened with Apex, where, like, the game is obviously going in a direction I don't enjoy, so I just stopped playing it. I need some water. I will be right back. All right, chat, you're left alone with me. Hey, who wants gifted subs? Because you're not getting them. I, I'm out of money for the week. Also, uh, Ray, you're on question duty, basically, uh... uh read me any questions period that aren't about what video I'm going to make. Um, and I'll start the campaign. All right. I already know the answer to this one, but chat doesn't. If you hadn't started <laughs> making YouTube videos, what would your profession or job be? Um, well, I have a bachelor's in game design, so a, like probably... I would be trying to get into the game industry. I honestly don't think I would have made it into the game industry or even continued to want to be in the game industry considering the state of it right now. But, uh, so I probably would have just ended up working like, uh, what, what do you call it? Like, um, I cannot remember the name. I, I, you know, just working at whatever store is like a clerk or something. Oh, you mean it's for... Yeah, something like that. So, it w wouldn't have been exciting. You would make hentai games. <laughs> <laughs> I would make hentai games. Yeah, so make sure to just answer, or add, like, read every question, even if they're not I mean, great. Yeah, I'll answer everything. Just, they have until I beat the game, or go to dinner. Does Bruno Mars is gay? Uh, oh man, I don't remember the, the full Game Grumps quote, but it's like... <laughs> the, the word is out. Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> Does Bruno Mars is gay? Four at eleven. Also, this game has quick time events. Yay! Because I love Space. quick time events. Oh, what's the funniest glitch you've ever encountered in a game? Oh man, that's a tough one because I encounter so many glitches. Like, like me especially, I encounter so many glitches. But I. Probably in terms of, like, really memorable ones, there was an issue with, um... 
uh, Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, where your um, your ship would spawn in in the air or under the ground. It, it, it might have been under the under the water, and the area around the ship would just look like a big instant waterfall. Oh yeah. Um, and then your ship would like float up. Uh, no, no, it, it must have been in the sky. It must have been going up in the sky. Because all the guys would fall off of your ship into the water and die. It was very <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do you feel about the past Battlefield games? Um, I mean, I liked Bad Company a lot. Bad Company was my, like, the first Bad Company on PS3 was my first foray into Battlefield because my parents would never, like, they would never let me play M-rated games uh, before I was, like, old enough to play them. So I'd always go over to my friend's house and play them, which is why I played Halo at age four. But, um, so Bad Company was only rated T, so I got to play that. And then my parents were like, eh, it's probably okay if it gets Battlefield 3. Um, and then I played Bad Company 2 later on, but I really enjoyed, uh, like, Bad Company, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. I it started to lose interest around Battlefield 1 because I wasn't super interested in the setting and shotguns were so overtuned in Battlefield 1 that it was just not very fun. Um, and then I I played like the beta for Battlefield 5 and didn't like it, so I never picked up 5. Um, but I have not played... Not played Battlefield 2. I think I've played... 20, 2142? The, the original one, not 2042? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I remember, like, flying up to the the flying ships and, and doing that. Oh, my God. Yeah, the, the lens shit in Battlefield 3 was always ridiculous. Yeah, that's awful. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like anime? Do I like anime? That's a, that's a tough one, because, like... Uh, I there are definitely some animes I really enjoy, and I'm really enjoying like Delicious and Dungeon and Free Run right now. But by and large, I would say no, because I can't just turn on an anime and enjoy it. It's got to be really specific, and so much anime is like really generic, and they have that problem with like the fan servicey stuff that's just really perverted or like. They got to throw in a character that's a pervert and have the upskirt shots, or whatever. So it's like, if I'm watching an anime within the first three episodes, if it fails the "what if my parents walked in" test, then I give it up. It doesn't matter what thing it is. The only exception to that being, I really liked Kill a Kill because that was sort of tongue in cheek about how uh, ridiculous that was, and so like everybody in the show is getting naked and and weird, sexy outfits and stuff, which I thought was very funny. Um, but like I've I really enjoyed uh, Trigun, Cowboy Bebop. I said Delicious and Dungeon and Free Run already. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, wow, this is still really loud. This was loud five years ago, and it's still really loud. A Kamega Kill. That that was the one that Kill a Kill was satirizing, right? I think I've watched that one, which. Was it was fine? I th I remember it not. I, like everybody dies at the end. <laughs> everybody fucking dies. They don't make any writer. Uh. I'm seeing you skipping a lot of questions, Ray. You're you're well, going I'm, slow. I'm getting there. You're talking a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, what video game for? company would you work out if given the choice? I don't know, Montez. Um, yeah, let's get out the uh, assuming just for like the games they make and not the actual like quality of the studios. Um, gee, I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough question. Definitely not uh, Blizzard. Yeah, not Blizzard. I mean, what what a uh, hmm. I think that's too vague of a question. Uh, have you ever played the first Helldivers? No, I haven't, but I heard it was pretty good. Um, I'm just not into... I'm not super into the top-down real-time stuff. It's kind of like a bullet hell, so it's not really my kind of game. It's the Allstate guy. Hello, Allstate guy. 
Uh, PlayStation or Xbox? Gentlemen, PlayStation. Welcome. As you know, we're dealing with a PLR when will you... crossing over from Iran. A lot of sectarian right, do you want to fish that one? Oh, I just, I grew up on PlayStation, so I had a PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, I have a PS5 that I've barely touched. <laughs> God, I want one so bad. Uh, Matt asks, when will you wear wigs? I've worn wigs. <laughs> wigs are a little uncomfortable. So, you know, and I don't need to wear wigs, so. But I could wear wigs. Uh, if you had to kick any wild animal in the face, what species would you choose? What the fuck? Um, Way behind, gentlemen. Let's go find no, <laughs> yeah, the no species like, really hate no. those bugs. <laughs> I would say a spider, but it would remember. Spider, good luck trying to kick that spider. I've got a long foot. <laughs> uh, most unpopular or hottest gaming take? I have so many hot gaming takes, dude. That's impossible to choose. Reach into the bucket and pull one out. Um, hottest gaming take. Let's see. What's a gaming take people actually largely disagree with? Uh, fuck. I don't know, man. Can't fucking can't. <laughs> That's so hard to choose. Oh, yeah, here's this. Uh, yeah, from 11 to 12, we're going to be doing ribbing. <laughs> and from 10 to 10.50, we're going to beat a dick? <laughs> Does that say beat a dick? I think that says... Wait. It looks like it says beat a beat dick. A... I think that does say... No. Beat a chick? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's either beat a dick or beat a chick. <laughs> and then uh, 12 to 1 is lunch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Can't wait for that. Uh, I'm getting doors open for me. Do you ever miss console gaming? Oh, all the time. Console gaming is so much simpler than PC gaming. Like, the like PC games are nice for the scalability, and like right now I'm playing an, a game from 2013, 2011, in, you know, 1440p at like 165 hertz. So it looks really nice, and it plays really smooth, but like, just the... Being able to just load up a game and have it work without having to worry about troubleshooting or whatever is so much simpler and so much nicer. Yeah, compatibility is such an ease with consoles. Yeah, and I like... Uh, are you hot? Am I hot? No. If we're talking temperature-wise, actually, not right now, but it gets pretty hot in this uh, apartment, which is one of the reasons why we're moving. Oh, oh no, know. Chaffin! We've got to save Chaffin! We've got a space bar him to cover! Space bar! Exciting! Space bar! Very oh. exciting! Space bar! I am a saving him! I'm doing actions! I'm participating in the gameplay! Woo! Uh, got a beard. Got a beard? Yes. I, I mean, uh... That's what, no one's self explanatory if you uh, look at your profile pictures. Yes, no, I, I look exactly like my profile picture. Um, derpy potato face included. Yeah, I just have a big chunk out of the left side of my head. <laughs> Forgot this game's not non like called Duty. Non casually Caucasian. Non casually Caucasian. Uh, Professionally Caucasian. <laughs> Also, this is another funny thing. Battlefield 3's UI does not scale with the uh, <laughs> with the resolution, which is why it looks really, really tiny. And the, the load screens are just uh, really tiny, which is very funny. Uh, Thomas asks, Hey, are Femboys 1 best, 2 the greatest, 3 you are favorite thing ever? No. <laughs> Wrong. I feel like I feel like no is a good answer to that. Everyone sucks. I don't I like personally I mean I don't really understand the femboy culture thing. Uh what was your favorite game from your childhood? Favorite game from my childhood. Uh Kingdom Hearts 2? Okay. Based. Am I dead? No. Okay, that was just scripted. Someone wants to know what no, you think dead. about my sus jokes. Oh, my sus jokes. Those were, those were overdone years ago. 
It's funny now how overdone they are. Mm -hmm. Did that car Stay just bounce up as if it just exploded but it was on fire? Uh, did you see the new Godzilla vs. King Kong film? No, and I'm not going to. I'm not super into the, the MonsterVerse stuff. I did, however, see uh, Godzilla Minus One, and that was really good. I like that a lot. What are your hobbies outside of gaming and art? <laughs> gaming and art. Those are my hobbies. Sleeping. <laughs> so, so ironically, yeah, like, it, it seems a little ironic that my hobbies are also the, exactly the same thing that I do for work, but it's like, the games I play for fun and the art I do for fun is different enough to what I do for work that it's still fun and doesn't feel like... I, I haven't, like, ruined it as a chore for doing it for work, because, like... Uh, for thumbnails, like, I'm just doing the same pose over and over. And I've, I've tried to, like, differentiate them recently. Um, but, like, it, it's pretty pretty easy, and I got that pretty down. So for, like, fun, I'll, I'll do, you know, gesture practice or um, just there's a floating blood stain. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was I saying? For, for fun, yeah, I'll do, I'll do gesture practice or drawing my... Uh, characters and stuff, and this game does not have a toggle sprint. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put this person on blast for this question. I'm sorry, but this person said, since you only watched very specific anime, have you ever watched a One Piece? What are your thoughts on it? Which yes, I would say I've is watched about the One most... Piece, but also that's the most anime anime, yeah, and exactly the opposite of the kind of anime I like. <laughs> like, if you if you were to say... describe an anime I would not want to watch, it's One Piece. <laughs> yeah, One Piece is about the farthest thing you can get from specific anime that you could have listed, so I don't know how you came to that conclusion. Because One Piece is also one of the biggest anime ever made. So. And it's, it's, they, the anime is, it, it, One Piece is just one of those animes where it's like, they want to stretch it on to eternity. It's still being made into a manga, and so they've gotten to the point where they have to like, pad out the anime so much. To the point where I think, I think I saw a statistic where it was like, a, like 60% of a page gets adapted every episode because they need to go that slowly, which is fucking nuts. <laughs> I don't know anything about the specifics of that, but if an anime ever goes longer than like 400 episodes, my ass is not watching it. <laughs> yeah. I've been watching Gintama, which I believe is close to 400 episodes, but it's like a parody anime, um, and that's a lot of fun. It reminds me of like if... Um, the Animaniacs were an anime that it's got that kind of feel to it and it's I, I like the satire of that a lot I definitely miss a lot of the jokes because there's like very Japanese specific jokes why can I not how do I go prone <laughs> what's the prone button the most fun I ever had with one of the, like, big four anime was watching all of the best fight scenes from Naruto and then trying to put the pieces together of, like, what happened in between them without, like, an extraordinary amount of context. Oh. And I did pretty good, actually. That's why. Okay. Now it works. Okay. Battlefield 3 actually lets you double bind things, which is interesting. Oh, That's yeah. kind of ahead of its time. So you can crouch and throw a grenade at the same time? Well, I had crouch and prone set to the same thing, which is why I couldn't go prone. Uh oh. Okay, Campo is definitely, like, very open to the sniper right now. Ah, nothing to worry about. Uh, what is your favorite zombie infection from any media and why? Uh... Uh... Clear your back blast. Stand by! Three, two, one! Just clicking. Suppressing! <laughs> Friendly fire will not be tolerated? What? What just and happened? I spit, up, 
I think Montez stood up right as you shot the RPG and he like blew. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, <laughs> do I have to aim? <laughs> I guess so. Um, are, are we talking specifically like a full on zombie apocalypse infection or just like in general? Because if we're talking about like, probably, I mean, like, alien is a good alien counts, right? Well, it depends on what part of the universe you're talking about. If you're talking about just the first alien, no, because that's not really an infection. But if you're talking about, like, the Prometheus era aliens, where they, like, mm, um, go to, like the uh, weird, like, Ripley Scott world and they step on the mushrooms so and it, like, wait, infects their body like that, then that's you. probably you more of an infection. But. I mean, maybe uh, Three, two, like the Last of Us. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not super big fan of it. the g the gameplay of the Last of Us, but like, just the it being different than normal zombie stuff, just visually and the the sounds they make and everything sets them way apart from regular zombies. I think that makes it pretty good. Was Halo 5 that bad? Yes. I mean, also, I played it the worst way possible. So I played it with about one to two seconds of lag. Cool. Which was just awful. Are you playing on Google Stadia or something? What the hell? I, so I was playing through Game Pass streaming, but at the time, Game Pass streaming was only available on mobile. So I had to get a... Emulator. I used BlueStacks uh, to emulate it on my PC, and then I played it with a PlayStation controller because you can't play it with a mouse and keyboard. So I was like relearning to use a controller and playing it through an emulator with lag, and it was it was displaying at like 480p max, so it looked really ugly. It was just it was just a miserable time, <laughs> and the the story is just fucking awful. It's it's really bad. And it ultimately, basically, nothing happens, or no, nothing is resolved. Like, at the end of the game, Cortana just goes away. <laughs> it's it's such an odd choice for a game, and it very much feels like, uh, from what I've heard, they had to, like, reboot the thing, like, halfway through, and it definitely feels like that. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, have you ever raged at a game? Are you kidding? I... <laughs> Literally all the time. <laughs> Guys, it, you're not. You don't play video games if you've never raged at a video game. I mean, did oh, you oh. watch the um, uh, Metal Gear Rising? <laughs> I screamed a lot at that game. <laughs> Skill issue. Rooftop now, please. Uh, this one's gonna be unanswerable, but how many games do you own? I don't know. Alright, I'm timing this guy out for 24 hours for putting fucking class, like, racism comments in the chat. Uh, what? yeah, that seems like a good idea. That's weird. Is my we'll live chat not live? No. It defaults to top chat, which is all. Oh cool. yeah, you gotta go live like chat. Live chat. Yeah. Fucking boy scout. Uh. Fuck those I'll give you 24 hours to think about your life choices, and then you can come back. And if you're still an idiot after that, then you will say bye bye forever. <laughs> go go. Uh, favorite dinosaur. Uh, like now I can't think of the names of a dinosaurs off the top of my head. See, I was a I was a construction equipment kid, not a dinosaur kid. <laughs> I'd say you know Will's fucked up because he didn't play dinosaur bingo as a kid. Dinosaur oh. bingo, the goat. I've Fucking never heard what? of dinosaur bingo. You guys gotta play dinosaur bingo. That shit was awesome. Ankylosaurus is second best. Stegosaurus is the best. Stegosaurus uh, is a good answer. Oh, the follow-up to that question. Uh, favorite construction equipment, then? 
Okay, favorite construction equipment. Um, the uh, excavator. So what happens if the Hell yeah. Yeah, just, just dig big hole. <laughs> I remember there used to be a playground board that had like a whole excavator thing that you could put on. I'm also a big fan of just like the extremely large dump trucks, like the really, really big ones. Because like, those are nuts, right? <laughs> why do we need those? I see. Like, obviously, I, I know why we need those. But... And I erase you, Steamroller. Steamroller is good, but like... They make a big pancake. Yeah. Steamrollers uh... are definitely fun to watch, too. But I've actually, um... My friend, uh, who lived across the street from us in our cul-de-sac growing up, he got a pool put in, and really so awesome. I remember I'm... them letting us, like, sit in the excavator and, like, bring up a chunk of the ground, that the and that was cool. Dude, that sounds fucking rad. I saw this video recently of this, uh, little kid who, like, went up to this construction crew and they used the excavator to put dirt in the back of his like little toy dump truck <laughs> and he was so excited oh yeah it's pretty cute it's like oh, mostly the now. same guy kill them all i can't they're like uh, you got a girlfriend, or are you too nerdy for that? I do not currently have a girlfriend, but there is a girl I've been seeing. Uh, least favorite, most favorite Halo game. Uh, most favorite Halo 2, though, I mean, I, I do think Halo Infinite is the best feeling one. So if I were to pick a Halo to play, uh, if I couldn't play the rest, I would probably just choose Halo Infinite because it feels, feels the best. Uh, least favorite would be probably Halo 4. I think it's the weakest in terms of its general design. Uh, but most boring would be Halo Reach. <laughs> hey, chat, settle hey, down. Just remember, every right time now? You... Did they say something? I don't know. Every time you feel the chat. touch of a woman, chat, you get worse at video games, okay? Just remember that. Oh, I'm doing the, the wire thing. Okay. Why am I not an expert? Um, well, that's a skill issue for you, Ray. So. Fuck. Uh, any tips and epic tricks for troubleshooting when it's been three hours and you want to install your PC? Google it. Get more dedicated RAM from the When server. I want to install UPC? I'm pretty sure they meant to type your. My PC. I mean, uh, I've definitely had to troubleshoot for extreme amounts of time before. This PC gave me like a shitload of issues when I first put it together. So basically, I would say um, building your own PC may be cheaper. And if you know what you're doing, that's great. I am never going to build my own PC again. It's just too much a hassle. And just being able to like purchase it from a company that can then help me troubleshoot it if I have issues. I don't care if I have to pay a little bit more money. <laughs> yeah, price convenience. Yeah. Uh, ever played Cry of Fear? Um, that's the one, the horror game that wasn't actually horror that with had that little. That's that's the one where you could like walk in the hallway and the thing would just hit the wall over and over and over, right? I I haven't played that, um, but I definitely watched I like I think it was the Germa video. That's, layers that, of is fear. That, I think that's layers. That might be of layers. Fear. Of fear. So no, <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think this, I played Cry, Cry of Fear. That little thing that you were just doing when you were doing the quick time event for that guy looked like you were unplugging controllers from the GameCube. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> does. I think I made that joke in the original cast, but if I didn't, I'm definitely going to do that in the redo. Uh, this one's a fucking weird one, uh, appropriately from Weird Gamer. Do you like prostate massages? What the fuck? That was a joke about we were talking in um, Bioshock. Oh. <laughs> uh... But let's go with I'm not going to talk about my sex life to you, random internet person. <laughs> <laughs> good, good answer. Not until 250k subs anyway. <laughs> yeah. Once we hit 250, sex life on stream. 
Yeah, just just think uh, about these questions as, Hi, I'm a random person you do not actually know. Do you think that's appropriate to ask somebody you just met? If the answer is yes, you need to reevaluate your life. <laughs> what, you don't go to Walmart going, Hey, cashier, uh, what's your sex life? Hey, do you like prostate well, massages, Target guy? Well, I've watched all of your videos where, like, best friends kind of <laughs> tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not having a uh, parasocial relationship. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not your friend. Uh, am, you don't I know me. I am not your friend. <laughs> it's just the Ludwig thumbnail, but it's Will's face on him. Yeah. I am not your friend. Uh, That's going to be the uh, title of the Q&A video. Okay. Uh, de yeah. I'm definitely shooting that guy, and he's not dying. Uh, you're zeroed for 200. You got to aim a little lower. He's also very dead. I and mean, the bullets are definitely like oh. going there. I guess it's, they just have to be destroyed by the helicopter, and that's why yeah. I'm not allowed to kill them. Thoughts on the TF2's community having a downfall? They're having a downfall. Which TF2 community? <laughs> Titanfall or Team Fortress? Uh, <laughs> Honestly, either. <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> Ah! It looks like the answer was Team Fortress. I didn't think TF2's community was having a downfall though. I'm the not, Team like, Fortress super... community has been crazy for a while. I haven't had my hand on the pulse for a little bit, but from what I could tell, the Team Fortress community seemed at least okay. I mean, they were all right. Uh, do you have any games that you like that are highly unpopular? Um... Furry Hitler. <laughs> not played Furry Hitler. <laughs> I, I... Not really. I, I don't think so. I mean, I think the most unpopular would be, like, Kingdom Hearts 2. But, like, again, those are... It just depends on who you ask. Because there are a lot of people who like the Kingdom Hearts series, despite the fact that it, they're incredibly schlocky. So, I don't know. I... I because usually bad games you, are bad for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Will you ever do a cover of Simple and Clean? <laughs> yes, I'll get right on that. Okay, nice. <laughs> Have you ever considered playing Arma? I've played Arma. Arma is the exact opposite of the kind of game I enjoy. <laughs> like Arma is like a shooting like game for people who don't realistic. like to have fun. Yeah, remember I was saying my... <laughs> My checklist for fun FPS games are fun to control, fun to shoot the guns, and fun to kill people. Arma is none of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's stiff. They make it it feels bad to move. The animations are janky as fuck. And killing people is extremely unsatisfying because they've decided to go with a realistic. So people just kind of, they just kind of fall over dead. There's no, uh, like, if you want to talk about, like, satisfying killing people, like, Battlefield 1, headshotting somebody and hearing that ping as their, like, helmet flies off after you headshot them, that's fucking satisfying. Yeah. This one's either going to be a five-second answer or a five-minute. Uh, favorite D2 subclass in Guardian? Uh, Warlock. Five second. All right, five second. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He didn't I even pick a subclass, just one. Warlock. Uh, uh, subclass doesn't matter. <laughs> if it can kill or do something, it's good. <laughs> uh, it's pro you probably on YouTube? Blade Warlock, but... Sorry, what? Uh, what do you watch on YouTube? Um... Born. What do I watch on YouTube? I watch... Uh, there's a couple animators I watch. I watch some other gaming content. Uh, I've been watching some Smash stuff lately. Like the Smosh Pit stuff. Um, yeah. I like the, like, try not to laugh stuff. Um... Smosh collab soon. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> like, if they invited the me to go out to California and show up in a video, I would 100% just instant agree. I don't care what it is. Can you do a chosen impression? Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. With with absolutely no time to prepare. Not really. But I could oh, if I thought about it a little bit. 
We should get the chosen to voice an intro for one of the videos. I hit control. <laughs> what happened? Well, I oh, hit you just control to try and go prone. Didn't work. <laughs> uh, what is your I'll... favorite hot sauce? I'm not super into spicy, so I don't think I really have a favorite hot sauce. But um, speaking of spicy food, though, like Austin had made some really good jambalaya that was like the right amount of spicy that you could feel it in your mouth, but it wouldn't get like really hot in your throat. And that's like the perfect amount of spice for me. I know. So I don't I don't know. <laughs> Something kind of mild. <laughs> the right answer was Valentina hot sauce. Sure. Oh, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> is, uh, is Worcestershire sauce hot? I have no, no fucking clue. No, it's not. Not at all. <laughs> all I know is that nobody can pronounce its fucking name. It's Wor Worcestershire, I think. Or it's uh, Wor Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I feel like that's still wrong. No, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Wish to sure. I'll have to look that up. Also, I'm gonna fail this quick time event because there's a fun little Easter egg. Uh, my hands are just gone. Because <laughs> the FOV fix, I guess. <laughs> I give the rat the finger. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, how goes that 100k, and are you going to get the plaque? I'm assuming it'll show the up in like game mandatory. months. The plaque is mandatory. You can't not get the plaque. Yeah. I'm also gonna have to figure out how far back. How far back? I'm, I'm. My brain is thinking of two different things. I'm gonna have to figure out how to update my um, place of residence because I am gonna move at the end of the month. I think you just do that in the Google settings of your account. Yeah. I the other so. thing that he was thinking of that was like being scrambled in his brain is he was thinking of how far he can lean forward before he can't <laughs> lean forward anymore. <laughs> Not very far. I have an inner ear imbalance and I fall over if I'm standing up straight. <laughs> oh, I meant sitting down. Oh. I'm always falling over. Laying down, fell over. <laughs> I have had the sensation of falling over while I was laying down. But I think that's not uncommon. What's your favorite fast food? Um, Canes. Sonic Concrete Milkshakes. Canes is base. <laughs> I get a lot base of Canes because um, they're open past 10 and I eat dinner a lot after 11 <laughs> just because of the my weird sleep schedule, so yeah. Cans. <laughs> you killed the rat, that's so sad. Yep. Fringe. Uh, what game did you really want to like, but it was just bad? Um, I Is mean, probably possible? Destiny, right? Like, I, I, for the longest time, I played so much of Destiny because it was the Bungie thing. And Bungie is really good about having games that feel fun to move around and shoot. Because Destiny really nails that, but the enemies were never fun to kill. And what the fuck? <laughs> what? And uh -huh. so then Halo MCC came out and I gave up Destiny and pretty much the only times I've played Destiny since then were just for videos for Cass. But yeah, I, I think Destiny would be the one. Destiny 2. Because if, if the enemies were fun to fight, um, I, I would enjoy the hell out of Destiny. But they just... They're not! <laughs> and I know Matt's covering his mouth. <laughs> well, I guess I'm, I wasn't really like upset or anything you're allowed you're entitled to your opinion i guess my question to follow up that is uh what about the enemies is unsatisfying they're just kind of fodder they they their ai is very simplistic and they don't react uh in the same ways that i, I mean especially now that halo infinite has come out like that's the enemy ai is super fun to fight in that game because they react to the environment and they'll do things like um, if there's uh, 
Oh, these are enemies. I thought these were friends. Um, they'll they'll sit and throw things around the environment, and they'll take cover around the environment, and uh, the brutes will even throw the grunts sometimes if they get enraged, and just the general um, differences in the way that the enemies are designed. And it's also designed around just the, the basic um, weapon sandbox and not a kind of light level. And so either Destiny tends to be way too easy with enemies that fold like paper or just entirely too hard bullet sponges and never there's never like a good balance where it feels like a lot of fun to fight the enemies and that i would want to do it over and over and over it just feels like you're just going to get through an encounter and that's about it like i do think shooting the guns and the animations and the movement of the game is fun and that's enough for some people, but I need the enemies to also feel fun to fight, and they don't feel very reactive. I'm hoping that that changes with the new faction that we're getting, <laughs> since it seems like they have a lot more, like, in-depth uh, attributes to them. So. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath, because the way that they have sound with the way that they've uh, described them, it's like, okay... We have a flying enemy that moves around a lot and suppresses your abilities. We have another enemy that will hold you in place. <laughs> we have another enemy that will constantly move you out of cover. <laughs> well, I think the point is that they want you to be more engaged in what's going on in combat instead of just like turning your brain off and mindlessly killing ads like you do in a lot of Destiny right now. Which yeah, is good. We'll I think that's. I think that's good. Uh, how many brain cells have you lost while making casts? All of them. I borrow one from friends, and we all share. I want fucking one. I lend the brain cell sometimes, but he doesn't give it back, so... We fucking missed lunch again. God, oh my God. damn it. Someone said in chat, don't miss lunch. <laughs> they did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we fucking missed lunch. Hey, it's motherfucker hands. Hey, motherfucker hands. Yes, that's me. Holy shit, Blackburn. Am I glad to see uh, you? Uh, you gonna look at me in the eye? Least favorite food. This place is gonna be every fucking man for himself. Least favorite food? Oh, fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm fucking no cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What kind of a is question that... is that? I, I, how would well, I know my least favorite food? Least I would have least... eaten it once and never again. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably Miss your Miss least Miss favorite Miss food because you're not supposed to eat it as a meal and you've probably <laughs> overdosed on cough syrup at some point. I, I distinctly remember growing up, we had some kind of, um, it was, it was some kind of like syrupy medicine that I guess the pharmacy had, um, mixed wrong. And so it tasted like barf. And my mom hadn't believed us until she tried a little bit of herself and was like, okay, this does taste like barf, and we brought it back to the pharmacy, and they were like, oh yeah, we, we mixed this wrong, so it's going to taste like barf. So, <laughs> that that's probably the worst thing that, that my wife... I think that I, happened I, to my, like, sister at one point. Like, they mixed her medication wrong, and it was just like, yeah, it just tasted awful, which is super weird. Uh, I am a big proprietor that, like, cherry-flavored medicine never tastes good. Anything that has, like, fake cherry flavoring as medicine tastes just awful. Yeah. And Robitussin was, like, the worst medicine that I always hated taking when I was growing up. Because it just tastes terrible. Like, it's one of those tastes that just, once it's on your tongue, it doesn't leave for, like, an hour. I always had chalky medication too. The worst food though is broccoli. Broccoli can be really bad. It's 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 one of those foods where like, unless you prep broccoli right, it's bad. And so many people fucking boil broccoli, and bro that's the worst way to make broccoli. Mm -hmm. You if you grill broccoli, it's actually pretty good. The reason why broccoli is bad is because it doesn't taste good, and it also has a horrible texture. I'm yeah, that, that's why the grilling it food. helps with the texture. But I prefer cauliflower over uh, broccoli anyways. I fucking love broccoli. I also really love grilled asparagus. Grilled asparagus is really good. But also, like broccoli, it's awful any other way. If you boil asparagus, it's some of the worst fucking food. Yeah. 
Battlefield theme. Uh, have you ever watched the act, man? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't actively watch him because I think he's got shitty opinions and he's a transphobe. But you know, eh? Like I've seen an act man video. Have you ever watched cherry Mighty flavor can be made from paint stripper? What? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, <laughs> cherry flavor can be made from paint strippers. Is that so? Well, no yeah. wonder it tastes like fucking ass shit. Piss. Oh. Uh, have you ever watched Mighty Machines? Nope. Have you ever watched Generator Rex? Mm -hmm. Love Generator Rex. You caught me right as I was drinking water. Yeah, I've watched Generator Rex. That show rocked. That was an underrated gem on Cartoon Network as a kid. Mm -hmm. I'm sad yeah, it was never as possible. It was never as popular as Ben 10, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh no, it's the jet mission. <laughs> I... Oh boy, ready for point and click? Because they're like, okay, we have flyable jets in the multiplayer, right? Yeah, okay. Um, we don't have time to like make AI for the jets, so we're not going to let you fly the jet. You're just going to sit in the back and point and click. And for some reason, this is like the clickbaitiest YouTube video, because I know everyone's fucking seen it, where it's like, Ultra realism FPS game, uh, shooter, whatever. So and it's just this mission because it looks pretty, even though fucking nothing is going on. <laughs> Would you ever consider doing a collab with someone like The Russian Bad or some other That's game oriented YouTuber? Yeah. I've done collabs with a couple of people already. Like, it, it just happens to depend on. Uh, getting in touch with them and being a mutual. So being a mutual yeah. is like being around the same size as them. And it, it, you know, for some of them, maybe it doesn't matter. But like when you are making content, if you're going to collaborate with somebody, there needs to be a reason to do it. And for a lot of these YouTubers that people want me, that, that they've expressed like they want me to collaborate with, they're much, much larger. Like yeah. Russian Badger's a couple million subs. I think it's like two or three. Uh, and I'm, I just hit 100,000, so I'm way small. I am not a mutual. So if he wants to collab, that would be awesome. But <laughs> the giant he's gonna hands. Fucking, he's going to follow you on Twitter tomorrow. That would be awesome. But, like, I yeah, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But I am totally down to do collaborations with all kinds of uh, different people. Because that yeah, is it's fun. I also just think, like, in terms of doing something we would have to pick like a co-op thing because otherwise he would just be watching me play a game and i don't think that would be particularly fun <laughs> so what you're saying is, is you can't you can't collab with people who are bigger than you because you have performance anxiety <laughs> <laughs> yeah why do you think we're doing auto fellatio yeah no like i i think it would be super fun to do something with like um Maxor, because I've, I've had people compare my content to Maxor, even though it's really not that similar, besides the fact that he does summaries of some things. Like, in terms of the actual structure of the videos, they're they're crazy different. But I think it would be fun to just, like, it's like, oh yes, I'm the villain versus Maxor. Because <laughs> like, uh, let's be honest, I'm the villain. <laughs> oh, 100%. And, uh, you fucking collabed with, uh, Junkyard on, what was it, Far Cry 5? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's still one of my favorite chapters. I have collabed with you. You've been in several videos. What? Have no, Shovelry. That guy, yes. he streams on Twitch sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes, twitch.tv slash Shovelry. I, I know him. <laughs> well, that's crazy. You know his... Know damn. You know his Twitch <laughs> URL? That's crazy. <laughs> uh, did you know that Munchables have lead in them? That makes sense. That's what makes it taste good. <laughs> I've never liked Lunchables even as a kid. Wait, uh, I just said that's what makes them taste good. Yeah. Hello, loading chat just picking up my entire screen. Who is your childhood crush? Um, I'm gonna answer this one for Will. Uh, 
Carmen Santa is the chick from Spy Kids. I thought you were going to say Carmen San Diego, which also would not have been wrong. <laughs> Carmen San Diego is uh, hot. <laughs> shell, shell from Road to El Dorado. That's not Sonic a bad. That's not a bad uh, one as well. Or like, um, oh god, there was another one by that same studio, I think, where there was like a the villain of a movie, but she's like kind of wispy smoke lady. Um, she was hot. <laughs> there's just like there's there's so many animated kids movies where they just like make the women hot, and they know what they're doing. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. Jessica yes. Rabbit, yeah. That was on purpose, though, like specifically, you know. For sure, yeah. Uh, Selena Gomez from Wizards of a Waverly Place. No, I don't think so. That was that one. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Favorite Halo and why is it Reach? <laughs> Die. <laughs> we already answered that one. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch the regular show? Uh, no, I didn't. I think the regular show was on a little after I had stopped watching cartoons. Because it's. I think everybody reached this point, right? Where it's like, you grow up watching cartoons, and you decide you grow out of watching cartoons, and then you hit college. And you start watching cartoons again. So I think regular show was right in between when I was like in high school, and mostly I was just playing games or watching other shows and not um, cartoons. You can't even Valley. Same with like watching. Adventure Time. I never watched Adventure Time because that was after regular show. Regular show was good, but I would say that the premise of every episode was about the same. It's like Mordecai and Rigby are doing something, and then Benson gets mad at them and tells them to go do something, and then they end up like doing that, but in some way that summons an eldritch being, and then they have to fight <laughs> it, and then the episode's over, basically. Yeah, they, they commit. What the fuck? Oh. The way uh, that plane stopped looks super weird. <laughs> if there was one piece of life advice you would like everyone to know, what would it be? Kill your darlings. Wait. How do I flare? What's the flare button? <laughs> Is it F for flares? I don't think it gave me a flare button. <laughs> no, Maybe that's just like part it. of the mission? Now we get to the point and clicky part. Someone's never Ooh. played. Never yeah, I don't know VR. who at DICE decided this would be a really engaging and cool mission. And I don't know who the fuck decided playing it that it was. Because <laughs> this is nothing. This is a oh, Disney know. ride. It's a small yes. world. <laughs> it's no. a small world. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. I am going to point and click, and the enemy jets will die. This mission is really cool, unless you have a functioning brain. <laughs> you know, well, you had like three chances to make a rhyme there that you just chose to not do. <laughs> it was extremely unsatisfying. <laughs> uh, anyways, do you have any life advice you'd like to give it a chat? Uh, about what? That's too vague. <laughs> Tell your darling. Uh, drink water. Never got yeah, to. drink water is a good one, sure. Uh, what's the best cast you think you've done? Hmm. My favorite, I think, is Far Cry 5, just because the chaotic energy with me and Junkyard Diggs was super fun. In terms of the one I've put the most effort into... Um... I put a lot of effort into the Half-Life 2 one, I think. I, I don't know. That... Uh, it, it always takes a lot of effort to do um, 
like music montage stuff, and I like doing that a lot. Oh yeah. So I think I think the the Half Life Two, especially, it was a much longer cast than usual, and the subtitle the entire thing took a long time. So either Far Cry Five or Half Life Two. Uh, would you play the new Marathon Extraction Shooter? And do you even know what it is? Yes, and I know what it is. No, I would not play it. Uh, best pizza restaurant. <laughs> well, word best on the street is, is that restaurant. Marathon is really, really good. I mean, I think I've, I think I've mentioned this before, but it's you just you know, the best pizza restaurant is going to be any local pizza restaurant with the red cups. You know what I'm talking about. Like oh, every yeah. town has one. Okay, there's got to be a flares button, right? I'm just getting yeah. hit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the That's players the button? Did you ever go to Gaddy World or Gaddy Land when you were Fire a kid? Fire is X. Okay. Yeah, Gaddy Town Pizza is fucking awful. <laughs> yeah, the pizza was bad, but they had bumper cars, which was pretty cool. Did the did the game tell me that I had flares with X? I don't remember it doing that. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Yes, they are making Marathon a hero extraction shooter, which is part of why oh. people fucking hate it so much now. I, I remember one of the most hilarious stories to come out with that was like they got a bunch of Tarkov players to try it out, and after and they tried it out, they were like, like "Hey, uh, would any of you play this if it came out tomorrow?" And not a single person said yes. <laughs> yeah, hero hero extraction games. Well, like, the craziest there are very part few about games that where heroes who work well. I mean, the craziest part about that was that they were like, okay, we need to change the game director. So they brought on a guy who used to work on Valorant, and his first decision was we should make this a hero shooter. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh. Now, what was awesome. the question? Man? Oh, no, I was just saying, um, there are very few games that have heroes that work well. I think there are a lot of bad ones, but I think inherently a hero shooter is not a bad thing. Um, it's not a bad thing, it just needs thing, to be Because it's, you know, like Siege, I think, does it well. Uh, Team Fortress does it well. Uh, Overwatch did it well at one point. I don't know if it's any good anymore. <laughs> the problem, yeah, the problem like with it. hero shooters is that the roster is what balances the roster. So, if you continue to release new heroes, you're uh, eventually just going to have power creep as a problem, which is why Team Fortress is such a beautiful game. Because they were like, yep, we're making nine classes, that's fucking it. They all have one role, and they do it, and they balance each other out in this way, because they counter each other in different ways. But Overwatch is like, yeah, what if we made a support character that could CC you for like two whole seconds and was able to self heal herself and had a personal shield? And everybody was like, what the fuck, Blizzard? Yeah, it makes did that, that like two too. more times. <laughs> Where like um, Apex had like a very strong starting roster and they added some characters that were good, but then they're getting to the point where now it's like, Characters are sort of flavors of other characters, and they're um, just a little... It's a bit much. Uh, Sky, calling you by your full name. Uh, William Osso. Why are you not <laughs> fighting for democracy right now? Shake my head. Because <laughs> I'm playing Battlefield 3. Uh, what's a movie you dislike when everyone else praised it? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure I could come up with an answer, but like off the top of my head, I can't. Dune. <laughs> I've not seen Dune. The new one. I mean, I I think the Batman is a good movie, but I don't think it's as good as everyone says it is. If that's a, an answer, like I. Yeah. It's not a yeah. movie I don't like, but like I definitely think people are way conflating that as a much better movie than it was. <laughs> Which Batman? The Batman. The Batman. The Robert Pattinson one. We're not saying that because it is 
the best Batman movie for saying it because that is how it is titled. Uh, do you not like Disney? Do I not like Disney? I like Disney I stuff. I've been we've been watching um, X Men '97. That's been a lot of fun, and I've liked uh, some of the Marvel stuff, Marvel shows, or whatever. I think Scoob was asking that in response to you saying this is like a Disney ride. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, do you hate yourself right now? Yes, this is so fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite game genre? Uh, open world. If that's a genre compared to like FPS or third person, like I, I'm the kind of guy where if you give me a big empty open world, I just like to walk around. I like that. So it doesn't matter if the, they're not chock full of shit. I just like being able to look at the environment and go, oh hey, that mountain over there, I can just go there. I've always enjoyed that. Does that um, mean that you like Bethesda games? No. <laughs> Just because they have what I like doesn't mean I like them. Zach and I were talking about earlier about how Bethesda games give you ultimate freedom in exchange for any modicum of good storytelling. <laughs> uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad was your headache after the Black Ops 1 video with the flashing cutscenes? Oh, I was mostly joking about that. <laughs> what? This is so fucking boring. That they've taken an AC-130 mission and made it even worse. <laughs> Do you hate yeah, well, FNV? The fuck is that? Fallout New Vegas. Oh. I mean, you can check my real thoughts for Fallout New Vegas. I've talked plenty about that. I don't feel like I need to rehash that when you can just go and see it. Uh, joking aside, do you not like RPGs? I'm not the biggest fan of RPGs for the reason that a lot of them are really impactless. Where... And I, I love Baldur's Gate 3 because it finally has, like, impact on my choices. Because a lot of the times RPG stuff is, like, very much just kind of flavor. Um, and the choices you make don't really matter outside of the conversation. And every once in a while, they'll give you a an important uh, thing to, to make a decision. But, like, overall, they're kind of meh. And Baldur's Gate's, like, the only one I can think of where, like, making choices actually affects things down the road in a, in a meaningful way. And you can have wildly different scenarios happen because of that. And I get that that's really hard to do, but that's why I don't like RPGs in general, is because it's so hard to do that they don't do it. <laughs> and I feel like RPGs used to be better about it before the modern era. Is it just me or is this, this like not even a Zoom? Um, where like... I know, like, Fallout, the early Fallouts, like, Fallout 1 and 2 had, like, way more impactful decisions than some of the later stuff because of just, it was too hard to develop that because of the amount of time it took to develop a fully 3D game kind of thing. And so I was just not into that. So, in general, not a big fan of RPGs. I also uh, just find talking to people, just talking to characters overall generally is pretty boring because of that. But I love Baldur's Gate 3. I like it a lot. Uh, Scooby asks, do you like me? No. That's why I pay him and he's not my friend. <laughs> Paid friend. Paid friend. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this violates the rule, but any other videos you want to remake? Like, old content you just want to remaster? Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I want to remake the Halo Reach video specifically because I dropped the Arsler and it's just kind of dated because that was long before the channel had blown up and that was just, you know, casual language that 
friends and I used at the time, and even 2019 was kind of late for using that, but it's like, you know, it's just urban Texas kind of thing, and that was very normal language, and I don't really agree with that anymore, so I would like to, to redo that just purely because of that line. But also I think the um, dick measuring contest joke goes on for too long without actually changing and it's just the same joke over and over and i think if i were to do it again i would flavor each joke differently um i'd also like to redo the halo ce one just because that one's also pretty old and i'm i talk really slowly in it <laughs> make it an april fool's thing and do the cursed halo ce but that would require so many people running. have wanted me to do cursed halo but i, I don't want to play through cursed halo because it's halo ce is just it, it's it's funny and all but you're still playing ce <laughs> or as linus tech tips said you drop the hard r yeah that's one of the yeah. funniest linus tech tips videos it's the casual hard r i can't believe he almost ended his career like that yeah <laughs> They were like, um, just to be clear, this is what you mean, right? He's like, what? No. <laughs> yeah. All of, all of the people in that room when that was going on were feeling that they were about to lose their job. Yeah. <laughs> the wall is getting lighter by the millisecond. Mm -hmm. uh, or the Ruger hard R pistol, yeah. The hard R line. <laughs> uh, what's the best joke you've made in a cast? Oh, that's a tough question. I mean, there, there's so many good ones where I'll go back because I forget things a lot. So I'll go back and watch a cast and think, how did I ever come up with that joke? Um, I really like the the Beatles joke I made in Black Ops where you don't really notice that the joke is being set up through the video, just like you don't notice if if you were to like play through the game the first time that the the twist being set up and then we get to the twist of the game and the twist of the joke being um i am the eggman i am the walrus Tube, which was just very <laughs> funny to me and i, I like that a lot <laughs> um but I, I there, there's so many good cast jokes i think my favorite is um i, I think it was the tekken uh, video where it's like, in fact, I'm touching myself right now. And it's just, <laughs> That's why I'm masturbating right seconds. now. Yeah, it's yeah. just it shows his hand. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm masturbating that. right now. Yeah, I, I I write casts for myself first, basically, where like a lot of the jokes are stuff that makes me laugh, and if it makes me laugh, then I'm good. Uh, there, there's been some cast jokes which didn't really make me laugh that I ended up keeping in and they still don't make me laugh. There's like the, um, oh, those were explosive jokes. I don't know why I used that so many times. I think I used it like three or four times and it was never good. <laughs> uh, if you could have any cyberpunk cyberware in real life that's not Sandevastan, which is slow-mo, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't remember any of the cyberpunk cyberware. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and then I'm gonna pick up you had tie from the front door, so I'll be right back. All right. Uh, Dippy, I'm pretty sure he's already done it. Yeah. That's a weird fucking spider on the wall. Give me a minute. What the fuck? Go, go, gadget shoe. I got it. Fuck you, Benny. I'm not eating it. 
I think you should eat it. It's wasted protein if you don't. I have arachnophobia. Okay, <laughs> well, this will help you overcome your fear of spiders. No, it won't. If you have a fear of spiders, eat them. No! <laughs> yes, eat the spiders. That's how you get over your fear. You just eat whatever you're afraid of. <laughs> I can't eat tall will... buildings. Okay. I already <laughs> have... What, with my arachnophobia, I get hallucinations feeling like they're crawling all over my body. So, uh, I don't think putting one in my mouth would help with that at all. Alright. There's a dog going nuts everyone. outside. <laughs> I got eaten by a spider once I got better, though. Hey, good for you. Shoot it with a if rifle. You got, if you got eaten by a spider once, I would say that you are legally allowed to be arachnophobic, whereas Ray is just a baby. <laughs> I, I overdosed as a kid, fuck you. You overdosed on spiders? On spiders? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> that's... that's... <laughs> that's going in the video for yeah. sure. <laughs> what? You overdosed on no, spiders? I overdosed on medicine. And that made you afraid of spiders? Having hallucinations of that as a very young child does shit to your brain. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't overdose on spiders as a kid, but... I... have you ever taken too much Benadryl and seen the hat man? No, but my no. friend, uh, texted me one night. Uh, he said he took, uh, five Benadryl and he was feeling spiders, so he understood my... my concerns. <laughs> Well, do you know about the hat man memes? No. Oh my god, it's so funny. Apparently this is a common thing where if you overdose, it's either Benadryl or Benadryl. Allegra. Is it it's Benadryl, right? Yeah. If you over, it is a common thing, a shared hallucination among people who overdose on Benadryl that they see the hat man. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what the general description of the hat man entails. I haven't looked into it enough, but I just Girl, think that's hilarious. Me and the hat man watching the stream right now. Dude, what's up, hat man? Uh, Are you chill, hat man? Be honest. Hat man's chilling. Uh, everyone just overhypes it. <laughs> do, you, do you think cast will always be your main content, or do you think as the channel grows that may require a more frequent upload schedule, that you'll do more casual content like, uh, playing games with friends or best moments? Uh, well, so I've got no problems whatsoever as, like, a, a compilation kind of thing, which is easier to edit than a cast. But I do think cast will always be, like, the main draw for the channel. Um, it's just definitely it takes longer to make than, um, some of the other stuff. Uh, but now that I've got Scoob and I, if I start making even more money, I can maybe hire a second editor, just have... Maybe you'll finally entice me. To name the second <laughs> channel uh... Silly Otso. Dude, he's locked in. Oh. But okay. He locked in he's... too hard, he's in the back room. So... <laughs> he just burnt out, literally. Yeah. Oh, he's the hat man. Who's the hat man? Go take some Benadryl and find out. <laughs> the hat man stole him. He made the joke. Namona, these edibles ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was goofy. Firmly grasp it. The hat man takes too much Benadryl, he sees Chuck Norris. Bro, you just made a Chuck Norris What the heck? I couldn't fire my gun for so long. <laughs> I, I made a Chuck Norris joke to my dad uh, during the Eclipse. He made some uh, Chuck Norris joke, and I was like, yeah, the reason Eclipse has happened is because that's when Chuck Norris wants to look at the sun, and the universe doesn't want to blind him. Oh, is Montez's gay black lover still here? Um... No, I think it's randomized. Oh man, last time we played, this guy was like a black dude with Montez's helmet because for some reason 
The random generation for soldiers also uses Montez's helmet, which says Montez on it. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I don't know why that's in there as an option. It's gone! No, Montez is gay black lover. How could we? Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing with that brownie? Sir, eating this edible. <laughs> No, it's always true. I'm wondering about that uh, we shouldn't look at the sun, but the amount of shit I've seen of people Good looking at the eclipse right without up. any protective eyewear yep. is astonishing. So I got I got gaslit. Uh, apparently, during totality, as long as you are within like the area of totality, you can look at the eclipse and be completely fine. And yeah, that is from totality. NASA. But I didn't know that, so people were just like, no, you can't look at the fucking eclipse without the glasses on. So I was looking at totality with my glasses on, I was like, I can't fucking see anything. <laughs> what the yeah, heck? Yeah. It also didn't help that it was super cloudy. That's crazy, right? Anyway, here's tic-tac-toe. Fuck you, Benny. Why don't we just shoot ourselves and save them the trouble? Seriously, we're gonna get jacked. Frankly, gentlemen, I'm not hearing the aggression I'd like. Keep scanning. Nothing yet. Is Benny making loss? No, he... Defense yes, did. Benny is making um, loss. No, that's, that's loss. Yeah, that's no, loss. Ben, <laughs> Benny was doing tic-tac-toe. Oh. Defense did loss. Okay. Let's get this over with. Like everybody was like, hey, this is the part where we're going to get ambushed. And then we get ambushed. <laughs> the part where he kills you? Yeah. The part where he kills you. Wow, I can't believe we fell for that ambush when we knew it was going to happen. <laughs> it's not an ambush, if you can call it. I forgot the eclipse was happening and got concerned when I stepped outside. <laughs> Where is the sun? Guys, who turned out the sun? Where's the sun? Where are Why they? The what have you done Smoke with them? <laughs> There's no toggle sprint, so I have to hold the sprint button. Allow me to conveniently stand next to the gas tanker full of explosive fuel when we were expecting to be ambushed. The worst thing about having Ligma is that I have to mute myself every time I want to talk. Or wherever I want to cough, I mean. I have to yeah, I want to mute myself whenever I need to. Yeah. They're dying of ligma. Who's Steve Jobs? Is that is that a part of the Q and A? Uh, who's Steve Jobs? Me. I invented oh. Apple. Steve Jobs never died. He became a small gaming YouTuber. <laughs> Wait, if you invented Apple, what did you do to all those children in China? <laughs> um. Uh, band. Oh, it's weird. This Q&A was quite short. It ended abruptly. <laughs> hey, it's this part. I remember this from the video I watched today. Ooh, what the fuck is going on with the background? Uh, it's... vibing. Foggy. This was where I learned that Tehran was the capital of Iran and not its own country. And I blamed the U.S. school system because I never learned that. I'm not allowed to say anything about geography. <laughs> yeah, about. not after your Mandarin. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was still so funny. I'm. Every time I think about it, I just. I, I cringe hard. Cringe. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, why am I built this way? For anyone here who is unfamiliar, when we were doing Steam Next Fest demos, 
somebody had said that the game language was in Chinese, and then later they said the game language was in Mandarin, and Ray was like, so which is it, Mandarin or Chinese? And I thought, oh, haha, that's funny. Wait. And, and so, <laughs> and, so, Will asked me, is like, uh, are you being serious? And I, I processed for like, what felt like a minute, but was like five seconds, if I should just leave the call and never come back? <laughs> or answer honestly. Also, in case you aren't looking at the screen. Yeah, I see. <laughs> this it. is the enemy uh, tank. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, idiot! Hehehe, <laughs> dude, they're, dude, they're gonna be so mad when they have to un unwrap that thing. <laughs> What's your favorite Destiny gun, Will? Um... Oh, uh, Cer Cerberus plus one. <laughs> Cerberus I plus one is a good yeah. one. Yeah, because it's so fucking silly. Because <laughs> I, it's I love... It's bad. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's purely just because of the name and the design. Like, somebody stuck a gun together, and they were like, we'll call it Cerberus. And then they're like, okay. What if we add another barrel? They're like, but we can't call it Cerberus anymore. Okay, we'll call it Cer Cerberus plus one. <laughs> uh, what's Let's the go. minigun called in Destiny? Um, uh, sir, are called. you talking about um, uh, that gun is... It's the one that starts firing slowly and you fire sweet it Sweet business. Yeah, sweet, sweet business. business. Yep. Uh, I was watching... Um, fucking like your favorite exotic paired with um like what you are in destiny uh sweet business came up and it went you are a titan main and i never felt so called out in my life but that was, that's the main thing i use your favorite level four fun what is favorite level four fun yeah, what is level I, four fun? I guess like like for doing for fun, I guess. What? Like like in enjoyment level. Like what's your what's your favorite mission to do like to enjoy the game or whatever, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to make sense out of it. Any, don't make sense anymore. any mission from Metal Gear Solid 5? I just like the freedom of approach in a lot of those missions and a lot of fun. Level four fun is fun that is not fun to do, not fun to talk about, and normally ends up with someone getting hurt and or ambulance ride. What? <laughs> uh. I needed an example of that one, uh, Benny. No. Like I don't. I don't think I've done anything like crazy dangerous with friends. Does water have a taste, and if so, what's your favorite? Yes, water has a taste. That's been well proven. Um, I don't know if I could name, like, favorite water. I could name favorite style of ice cube. Uh, circular. No, the circular ice cubes fucking are fucking awful. I just like little crushed ice. Am I supposed to be doing something? Playing the game. Oh, I guess I'm going over here. Like Michigan water. <laughs> Is that still an issue in Flint, Michigan after yep. all this time? Pretty sure. That's awesome. So happy for the people of Flint, Michigan who have to live through that. And pay their taxes to keep that stuff safe. <clears throat> oh yeah, the best water was from uh, the water from the hose as a kid. Sure. <laughs> Smoking crack could be an example of level four fun. Not fun to talk about. Could very well harm you or end up with an ambulance. Uh, yeah, because I'm uh, well known for doing a lot of drugs. <laughs> you are. Hey, you sometimes drink energy drinks. That's a drug. 
Uh, well, Anthony knows all about doing drugs, apparently, to the point where he starts seeing spiders. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the same person, honestly, though. Yeah, no. they are brothers. <laughs> no, yeah. God damn it. It's kind of weird that you guys ended up being related and also in the same server and also both a part of the cast without being directly involved with each other and that making that decision. Yeah, we, we kind of coordinated beforehand. Uh, what's your favorite part of being a YouTuber? Besides the money, of course. Um... The money is his I mean, the money part. is the money is not my favorite part. <laughs> if you actually knew how much money I made off of YouTube, it's it's I, I would make more money off of being a cashier at some place. Like it's I'm not in it for the money. I'm I'm in it for the enjoyment of just making things I enjoy and being able to spread that joy and, and just uh like fun with other people. Like I'm so but glad that what I make this. people like as well. Because I make it for myself. Like, Cass is something I would want to watch myself. And so just being able to do that and having people who enjoy it. And um, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I absolutely would not want to go back to doing a real job, like a normal job, after having done this. Because I love this. And it's not for the money or the time investment. Because it, I sure I'm not making a lot of money. And it sure takes a hell of a lot of my time to make stuff, but I would not trade that for anything. Yeah, I would absolutely love to be an editor, but I need stability out of it. Mm -hmm. Which is a great time to plug Will's Patreon. If you like Will's content and you would like to financially support him so that he can continue making it without living off of dog treats, <laughs> you may go and subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash... Uh, Willie Pokemon also, but with guy. one L. <laughs> Wait, really? also with one L. Yeah, it's with one L. <laughs> Fucking hell, they took the L. Yeah, I'm shit at Patreon. Uh, I will support him by dropping another $70 when the notifs are on. <laughs> God. Uh, cats yeah, or dogs? Um, dogs. <laughs> What's your favorite dog tree? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, so I'm actually Again. allergic to most cats. I don't have a problem with Austin's cat, Chrono, uh, but it's like cat by cat basis, whether or not I'm allergic to them. And I thought for a while, maybe I wasn't allergic to cats. So we took care of one of Austin's former coworkers, I think, uh, their, their cat. And I like broke out in hives for like three days. So I'm definitely still oh, allergic to cats. And it depends, I but like, I I just love dogs, and I love the like how affectionate dogs are and everything. And cats are fine. I like cats too. And but just I don't know. It's not the same. Are you allergic like to my cat? Um, I don't think I've had a problem with him. Oh, Ashley isn't so. Are you allergic to mine? Yeah. Uh, that door was definitely just closed, and then it it was disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> That's super weird. We didn't get the answer. What's your favorite dog treat? Uh, bully sticks. strips. Ooh, maybe I can get this guy with the power of... Oh, I was going to grab him with uh, psychic powers like last time. You're about to say the power of anime and god. Have you heard this of was my friendly favorite Gordy's this game. news. Have this you heard of Friendly a... Gordy's news on YouTube is back again? I don't know who that is. Uh, some Australian guy. He's what do you mean? He's not all of them here in Australia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's the guy who got firebombed for exposing like political corruption in Australia. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I, I heard about that, but I wouldn't have recognized the name. Favorite yeah. flavor of Oreo. This de this decides our friendship. Uh, mint. Double well, nice one lasted. <laughs> 
How dare you? <laughs> original is the best. I mean, sure, but we're talking like besides original, right? Like, obviously, I would just choose original like 90% of the time. But like, if I had to choose a flavor that's not original, mint. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I, I might agree with that. Then, if uh, original's out of the question. If you Didn't prefer double stuff, you're ones? a terrorist. Double stuff is better. Well, you're see, the thing is, Ray, because of the tranquilization stuff they've been doing, double stuffed is now just regular sized Oreos. You guys, through the basement. We'll sweep the rest of the building. There's a great Atrioc video on shrinkflation. Montez, door. Mint Oreo with mint. No, Montez is not a door. Try again. <laughs> Montez, human. Door, door. The fuck is that word real? Have you ever seen Titanfall 2 exaction? Or is that supposed to say extraction? I don't know what that is. What either of those things are. Repel down. Okay, Jack looks about uh. sixty feet down. What hey, it's just like my show. TV show. Pay out your rope. Careful. I have not seen the Fallout TV show yet. Mission impossible it is. Do you think Bins. that they had to pay royalties for oh. saying Mission Impossible it is? Oh my god. Um, I doubt it. <laughs> so I, uh, they corrected themselves. They said, they said the kills. They meant executions. Titanfall 2 executions. executions. Okay. Do you like them? Which one's your favorite? I don't remember them, but yes, they're very flashy. <laughs> it's a good thing like the guys the can't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. I like the Call of Duty assassination where Lionel Messi kicks a guy's head off like a soccer ball. <laughs> Oh, do you wish Halo Infinite had an executions? No. Look, they're they're fancy, I... and they can be satisfying if you sneak up on somebody. But from a gameplay perspective, I and I know that was total bullshit when three four three was like, oh, we took them out from for for gameplay perspective because it was definitely just because they didn't have time. But from a gameplay perspective, they are slower than just back smacking somebody. I love them when you have the choice between doing an execution or just a back smack, because I think you could do that in Reach, where you just held the melee button for an execution, but tapped it for a back smack. Like, it just <laughs> she... feels awesome. He's really fucking that money. Well, wasn't the weird part about them when you use them in, like, multiplayer and both players were, like, invincible to, like, stuff going on while the animation was happening and then no, you just no. get unskilled in, afterward. In Halo you could kill somebody out of an execution. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, in yeah, Titanfall, you know. were invincible. Especially during Titan executions, you were invincible and it was kind of ridiculous. That yeah, that was really annoying. Do you like d and I'll let you answer that one. No! No! We, <laughs> we hate D&D. <laughs> We definitely don't play it weekly. <laughs> yeah, try and play well, a game with these fuckers. Like, well, sorry, we D&D. Well, not anymore, but we try. <laughs> we tried to play it weekly. I'm stuck. <laughs> Campo, please. Uh, Let's get this door open. What is your favorite uh, Baldur's Gate 3 companion? Uh, Shadowheart or Astarian. Based. Mostly just because they they have the most fleshed out and uh, they they have the most fleshed out character arcs, and uh, Neil Newman is fucking incredible as a starian. <laughs> but what about Muscle Mommy? Karlak's good too. She just I feel like her storyline is very simple. It's it's a uh, Tiefling who has been in prison and hell learns like basic human affection stuff. I don't know. But it's like, it's wholesome. 
Since you like Where Astarian, you are you gay? Like Guys. <laughs> no. I've not place. done the Astarian romance scene. Holy shit. You know what that is? Russia. Uh, what's your favorite TV show? Portable nukes. Um, I mean, that's a tough question, too. I like so many TV shows. Uh, like Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. <laughs> Uh, wow, machine. look at that frame rate. Right. Who's the other guy? I don't know. They're coming down. I like this gif that we're watching. Get the hell out of here. What about the intel? No, no, there's no time. Hey guys, gifs are supposed to be funny? That was just kind of some people walking. Yeah. This is Misfit 1 3. Misfit, we've secured what appears to be a WMD. Break? There may be more than one. Oh, that can't be good. But they're not going to respond? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your favorite method of tax fraud? Uh, for legal purposes, I cannot say. How many portable nuclear devices did you see in the bank vault? One. You saw one? Just one. The space is for three. Just because I see a couple of lights at night doesn't mean I saw a goddamn UFO. Look, we believe there were three. Yeah, can we time out Benny for like a minute to process what he just said? <laughs> Yip me daddy. You pronounce it like gif, I pronounce it like furry porn. That's kind of weird that you pronounce it that way. Uh, this one's an easy answer. Do you hate games that open doors for you? Yes, I yes this has been longly established. I, I hate any game that doesn't just let me do everything myself. Like... You, even to the point of like that's why I hate quick time events like I'm not doing the actions myself it's the game telling me that I'm going to press some buttons and do some actions <laughs> uh, have you ever tried uh, have you, what? have you ever tried Pathfinder before? oh uh, I've not tried Pathfinder no Blackburn who was in Paris? Dima uh, fellows, fellows in France thank you What's the most annoying ad you've ever seen in any format? Uh, God, I don't know. They're they're all annoying. <laughs> all ads, period. Yeah, can I can I be an answer every ad? <laughs> and that's why this video is sponsored by and the new cut right there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Did you ever see that, um, what was it, a Grubhub ad, uh, ad that it was like, had like the jiggly people? Do you know what I'm talking about? That ad was abominable. Hang on, I have to see if I can. Are you singing that. Pirates of the Caribbean, right? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it was literally the first, the first response, like thing that I looked up. All right, I'm gonna put this in the uh, casting couch channel. Oh, those, yeah. Those fucking, I hate those fucking ads. This ad was awful. Here in my garage. Goodbye, Thatcher. For ads. Uh, what is your favorite chip, and why is it Frito Scoops? My favorite chip is, and let me pull it out of the garbage. Because <laughs> I just finished a thing of it today. I love it so much. I don't know its name. Cape me to mention. Cape Cod uh, kettle chips, kettle chip chips. I, I love it so much. I just it recognize is... it by the bag. I don't recognize it by the brand name. <laughs> yep, that looks think... right. Grab. Do you think OJ did it? Yes. Yeah, I don't think absolutely. I know. <laughs> OJ did. I don't it. think. I don't think there's a single person out there who genuinely believes that OJ was in his. And if you do, you're an idiot. <laughs> he got acquitted of it because. I don't know, the prosecution were idiots or something, I don't know. Yes, we oh, know OJ's dead, we were talking dead. about it all day. Yes. 
OJ is dead on the same Thank day God. that I hit 100,000 subscribers. And there's no actually, um, actually, he died yesterday, technically. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe I hit 100k the, yesterday, technically. But the good word was sh shared today. That's so stupid! <laughs> uh... Why do you enjoy making casts? Do you even like it at all? What? No. Why do I feel like I already kind of answered that? I kind of enjoy it because it's I it's it's fun to do, and I yes I enjoy making it. Um, yeah, it's I not real. I enjoy seeing the the finished product, and I enjoy the process of editing. Like definitely, it can sometimes get a little tedious, and sometimes like especially when I'm in the like final edit phase, especially if I'm doing subtitles, which is why I don't always do subtitles. Like, I hate doing the subtitling because it takes forever and it's not quick and easy like it should be, um, even with all the Premiere tools. Um, but like, yes, I, I enjoy cast. I make it because I find it fun. I enjoy watching the videos back and just enjoying jokes, especially after a while when I've forgotten jokes in old videos. And I go back and watch them and enjoy the jokes as if I'd never seen them in the first place. Yeah, I, I hate subtitling stuff, but there's... If you can... Uh, at least what I do, I stylize it to match whatever's happening, and I love the end result so much. So it's like the pain is worth it. Uh, the prostate cancer has been acquitted of all charges, so we're good there. Yep. It's, yeah, side tangent from that, it is still very fucked up that it is the year 2024 and there are incurable forms of cancer. Yeah. I think that it's Big Pharma's fault, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would say it's cancer's fault mostly, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why aren't we blaming cancer? Everybody's blaming the large pharmaceutical companies, but they didn't do anything wrong. It was all cancer's fault. If you could delete anything from reality, what would it be and why? Big pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> Next question. Um, billionaires? Just the idea, of, <laughs> just just the idea of being able to amass Acquire that, that much, much wealth. Just, yeah. yeah. So like, I don't think any one person should be able to acquire a billion dollars because it's like the difference between zero dollars and a million dollars is one million dollars. The difference between one million dollars and one billion dollars is nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand well, dollars, which is no. insane. On that topic, something that I think is really funny is that we have government bodies set up for antitrust, which is like to break up huge monopoly companies so that there could be fair market share in the capitalist environment. But we don't have that for people who have way too much money as individuals. They're just supposed to pay their fair share of taxes. But they are the people who have the most money to afford the people who can find the loopholes that save them the most money. Yeah. Or they just don't pay. Another answer besides billionaires would be cars. Yeah. Um, just, also just very pri basic. privately owned cars. Uh, because having actual walkable cities and robust public transportation would just make life so much easier and so much healthier in general. Like being, uh, just being able to walk anywhere uh, in just a couple of minutes uh, would just be so nice. Yeah. There is nowhere here that I could walk to in a couple of minutes. Well, besides like fuzzies. Ride a bike maybe, but like even yeah. then, you know, because cars exist, riding a bike becomes extremely dangerous. So, yeah. you know, and car culture is so like people are so brainwashed by car culture that they hate bikers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so the idea of like making <laughs> more infrastructure that that benefits bikers. People just hate that and vote against it and, and things. And it's insane that we've got, reached this, like, oh, yeah, it's like us versus them on fucking being able to ride a bicycle. 
Which sounds insane if you phrase it like that. It's like, oh yeah, people who ride bicycles? Fuck those guys. Like, what? What? <laughs> this is a real opinion? Yeah, it's like people who are way too into cars think that riding a bike makes you like a snobby person or something like that. You're like too good to drive a car when it's like, like, no, like we as a whole as a society have just become way too engrossed with transportation that is wildly inefficient and terrible for the environment. Yeah, and, and just think about how much less money you'd be paying if you didn't own a car and there was robust public transportation in walkable cities. Like, no car insurance, no car maintenance payments, no gas, uh, no having to get a license. You just get on the bus and go somewhere, or walk, or get on a train. Can you imagine the, the commute between Austin and Dallas, which I've had to drive, is four hours. If there were a train that went between the two, it would be like two hours. And well, I wouldn't so have to drive. I could just listen to music or read a book or do yeah, whatever. Funny you mention that. We're going to be going to Japan this summer. And the Shinkansen that runs between Tokyo and Kyoto is a further distance than the same like distance between Dallas and Austin. Uh, and it takes longer for us to drive that distance than it is for the Shinkansen to go further than that <laughs> across Japan. Yeah, it's stupid fast. Like, yeah, if, if I if around me there was the infrastructure to use a bike more, I would. But the nearest like proper store where I can get my groceries is like an hour, hour and a half bike ride. Ooh. And even, and like work is like a hour and a half to two hour bike ride. Luckily I work from home and I can just order Walmart, so that solves, I don't drive all that much. What the fuck? <laughs> I pressed a button. I'm doing the thing. Yeah, choke to death, idiot. Suffer, like I have. What was your favorite ad? Why was it the Lego Movie sponsored? Oh, the full Lego Movie sponsored by Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Sponsored by Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Ryan Reynolds paid. Uh, I don't know exactly who, but the entire Lego Movie was just an advertisement on YouTube for a while. Oh, okay. I mean, the Lego movie was fun, I guess. Someone said electric bikes are part of the solution, and I think that electric bikes are actually just a byproduct of the problem, but uh, they are fine. Yeah. We have a we have a lithium battery crisis that no one really talks about. Oh man, I cannot wait until somebody finds a way to make more efficient batteries. Because we, we have reached the peak of battery technology currently, and there, mm -hmm. as far as I know, there is no known way to make batteries more efficient. And so, it, like, if we can reach the next, like, you know, peak battery efficiency, then we can have, like, a smartphone that won't die in a day. <laughs> That would be so fucking nice. Can you imagine having to charge your phone only like once a week? <laughs> the other thing is that lithium is a finite resource. We cannot create more lithium. So once we run out of lithium, there will no be, be no more lithium batteries. Am I killing the police right now? Probably. Uh, oh, Cam has a great thing. Uh, I don't hate bikers. I hate the people who bike on the road when there's perfectly fine bike infrastructure. But in my town where I live, it is a citation to ride a bicycle on the sidewalk. And it's a perfectly usable sidewalk for a bicycle. Oh no, not this guy who got impaled by a spike from somewhere. <laughs> it's like there's some places that you might just not know the rules for. I remember distinctly back in when I played this on PS3, there was a bug where that pole did not come with the body. 
So I was like pulling nothing, and then the body slid up, and then the pole slid up into place. It was all out of sync. It was very funny. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, guy I knew for five minutes. Hey, uh, head writer, do you think that maybe killing off this character we didn't know um, and having this emotional scene will have no emotional impact on the player? Uh, no, just do it. <laughs> That's what I always thought was so funny about Call of Duty or like Battlefield doing those as like are, are we supposed to feel emotional attachment to any of these characters? It's or the is same that with like common... Yeah, sorry, God. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna say, are they doing some like uh subtle commentary on how like being a soldier makes you like emotionally distant, or are they just like don't understand how to write emotional like attachment yeah and it's the same with like halo reach where it's like these characters you've known for like five minutes each oh no it's so sad they all died oh we've gotten back to another one of those um <laughs> train ways uh like railroads where there's just a ton of trains coming through them all the time <laughs> even though that makes yeah. no sense Uh, oh yeah. Did you hear about the uh, internet fiber optic breakthrough that reached 301 terabits per second using the existing uh, infrastructure? No, but that sounds awesome. It's fucking cool. I don't. I forgot who did it. I I know it's like some big company like Intel or something, but they uh found a way that's like, oh, faster internet speeds with everything remaining the exact same. Like, uh, God, I don't know the exact name of it, but like the uh, send and receive equipment, the fibers themselves, it's uh, Ten hours cool. ago, 80,000 dead. Ground zero was the Uranex exchange. How's it feel? You think I wanted this? You OGA guys are even more fucked up than I'd heard you were. I'm trying to stop this from happening in New York. Who do you think did it, Sergeant? The PLR and Solomon. Well, the blast yield matches Russian suitcase nuke specs. I don't know why we're sitting here listening to the cutscene. Uh, <laughs> what's next questions? Uh, what do you think of iron salt batteries as the alternative? I don't know anything about them. All right. Go back in time. Can't ask questions, please. Questions. We need more! Aston University found the discovery for the internet. Okay. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We missed this one, uh, I think. Did we cover favorite instrument? No, uh, but saxophone. I really like oh. the saxophone. I wish I had learned saxophone in band instead of the baritone. Uh, but yeah, saxophone. Do you want to learn how to play the saxophone with me? That'd be fun. I think that would be pretty fun. I have a cousin who works for Sweetwater, which is a music instrument company. And I'm pretty sure he could hook us up with some saxophones. That'd be pretty cool. Saxophone stream. Uh, uh, now it's the tank level. What is your favorite song? Uh, I have some. I have so many songs I enjoy. I don't know if I can name just one. <laughs> uh, there's, there's that one that's like, uh, is it some some guy Darude or something. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it's Darude by Seabat. Uh, <laughs> isn't the song Seabat, or is that is that the is it author? I don't know. It's probably the author. <laughs> I thought the I thought the artist was Seabat. I don't, I don't really know. Oh no, it is the 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 song is Sea Bat. <laughs> Never mind, <laughs> Joke Ruin. Okay. Now I have to listen to it. Uh, what is your opinion on game development cycles? I think that the that's a complicated question, but I think that. Ga the game industry in general 
needs to have unions, and these unions should guarantee that the developers have a certain amount of time per the scope of a game to uh, be able to um, complete the game. So ideally these unions would guarantee like, oh, if you have this scope of a game, you have a five-year development cycle or something, right? And if you end up not being able to reach that scope by the end of the five-year development cycle, you're guaranteed at least a couple more years of development time, right? So you wouldn't just end up in development hell of like, you just keep getting unlimited time to do a game, but you also wouldn't end up with a game that deserves to have like a three to five year development cycle being done in one year, like Cyberpunk or uh, Modern Warfare 3. Or like they were clearly not, uh, did not have enough time to complete that stuff. Uh, so that's sort of a roundabout answer. <laughs> yeah. uh, on a similar topic, what is your least favorite trend in gaming from the last five years? Uh, battle passes. All of them. I guess. Like, I understand the point of battle passes. And I think the whole being able to buy a battle pass that never expires is probably the best version of that. Because I get being able, like, having to maintain a game that you either don't initially pay for, or you, you do, and just the development costs of being able to maintain that game for many, many years. I understand the appeal of a battle pass from a business perspective and as a player playing because you have things to work towards, but, um, that is the thermal vision button. Loot boxes. Yeah, I mean, loot boxes aren't as bad of a problem anymore. They definitely still are an issue. Um, but yeah, like boxes are, in general. Yeah, just microtransactions. Like, I, I understand why they're there. I just, it sucks as a player, you know? Having to repeatedly pay for things, especially just digital content. Like, I have definitely paid for microtransactions. So, you know, whatever. But That's why Baldur's Gate was so based, is because Larian released this amazing game that was literally just full on delivery and everybody was like yo when's the dlc coming out and they're like fuck you we're not making dlc the game is finished yeah <laughs> it's like that's so base like why can't we just have finished games now you know Ooh, game breaker everything is fucking dollars early oh, access now uh, game Breaker has a question with that, and gets priority because it's money. <laughs> has learning how a game works changed your perspective on reviewing games? And are there any games you, that you'd like to learn more about? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I, I think, I, I always call it a sort of a joke, but like, having my bachelor's in game design has definitely helped how I view a game. And it also, I think it's even made it more baffling when I think about that every decision that's made in a game is a decision somebody made. It's not just random, right? And so whenever games have like really shitty sections, I think how the fuck did they end up like this? Like did somebody actively decide that they wanted to make it shitty like this? Or was it like a constraint of the time development or something like that? Or did somebody think it would be fun and then they didn't have time to change it afterwards or something? It just, it baffles me. Um, a lot of the time, it kind of feels like the QA testing, It most of the time when you end up with those situations, it's either that the QA testers don't feel comfortable giving honest feedback or just that like they're being so overworked or underpaid that they literally just like have gotten to the point where they don't care like yeah. you know they well just, i also say, yeah it works i know a lot of qa stuff is literally just quality assurance is just does the game function or not so it doesn't they don't actually get a say in like the That's structure true. of a level or anything but it's like if it's not unplayable they just okay it and so like i i know it, it really depends on the stage of the development because i know um i had a teacher in college and i can't remember his name i wish i could who was a qa at uh, gearbox because gearbox is is local here in, in dallas and he was saying like no matter what the the way that the game was structured or anything like that 
the only things that he was allowed to like say. He, he couldn't even recommend changes. It was just, you tell them what's not functioning properly, and that's it. You cannot recommend a way that they fix it if it's not functioning properly. Like, they were not allowed to do that. Yeah. Which, um... I mean, obviously that's gonna be more of an issue at bigger studios. Whereas at smaller studios, you know, you can kind of give more of that feedback, but... Yeah. Quite unfortunate that... QA testers are viewed so low on the food chain of development that their feedback does not really matter most of the time. Yeah. So. I know I, I've heard like horror stories too of like some games where it's like the QA testers are just told like the only bugs you can report right now were so late in development. Like if the game stops functioning, report those. Any other bugs, no matter what they are, don't bother because we won't have time to fix them. <laughs> Somebody told me the other day that Battlefield 3's sun is not incredibly bright. <laughs> yeah, 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 bright as shit. Uh, question for all of us, if we feel so inclined to answer. Mm -hmm. uh, how old are we? I am 26. Which I constantly forget. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm 25. No, I'm not 25. I'm 26 now. <laughs> I have just turned 23, and I'm hating every second of it. Damn. You're younger than us? That's crazy. I'm a whole lot, but yes. Uh, I'll be 26 in one month. Oh, yeah. I can't see shit with this fucking sun. <laughs> Flashbang. Think fast, chuckle nuts. Abby or Ellie? Uh, Ellie? Does anybody, would anybody choose Abby? Even, even like, people who like the game and think that Abby's characterization was done well, would anybody choose Abby? <laughs> yeah. I personally don't think The Last of Us 2 succeeded in making Abby a sympathetic character. Because they, they, they decided they wanted to write something incredibly difficult. Because it's like, you take a character everybody likes, and you kill them off, and then you try to make the character that killed them off sympathetic. That's fucking tough. That, uh, that, answered, that's setting yourself up for failure. You got the answer <laughs> to your question. It was a sex thing. They said I would pay her to strangle me. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you trust the government? No. no. The government knows. So, so here's the problem. I don't trust the government, but I would still vote for, like, government programs and things like that because I don't trust private-owned stuff. I, I, I trust yeah. private-owned stuff less than I trust the government. So Capitalism it's like the lesser of two worse evils than kind the of government. Thing, you know? Capitalism is... Uh, un, unhinged, unrestricted capitalism is far worse than the government having dubious control. Because at least with dubious control by the government, they have to be sneaky about it. Otherwise, it just blows up in their face. Uh, whereas with unrestricted capitalism, they can do whatever they want and nobody can do anything about it. Which we have already seen, basically. So. Uh, we've answered at least favorite, but what is your most favorite trend in gaming? Um, open world, making everything open world, and I know that's that's a trend people have been like hating, but I, like I said, I really like the open world thing, and even if the open worlds are not really done all that well, just the ability to go anywhere I want, uh, because I can look at it and go to it, is great. Um, and so there are people who are like, oh, I hope the next Halo is not open world. I don't like that, the, the way that they've structured it. I was like, no, no, no. I like that. The problem is Halo is not open world enough. There wasn't, yeah. there wasn't enough. Uh, there, there should have been more. Because when you think Halo open world, you think the Halo ring, the world in the game. That's what it should have been. So they need to go further. They need to go even further beyond. <laughs> It needs to get more open. Yes, it needs more open world. I don't care if it's mostly empty. 
I would care. Uh, chat, don't listen to him. I would care. Will's gone mad with power. He wants this world to open. Yeah. So, like, I totally understand people who are not into the open world uh, thing, especially because a lot of open worlds are incredibly mediocre and there's not a lot of interactivity in them. Uh, I can totally understand those criticisms where you can get that more from a linear game. But my counterpoint being, we had so many linear games that were also not engaging or good, so you might as well just throw them into an open world, right? The worst <laughs> I feel part of open world is when you don't have a good transportation system to oh get across God, yeah. the open world. When yeah. you have to fucking walk or like lightly run with a stamina meter to get across a huge open world. And I'm looking at you, Zelda. I love Breath of the Wild. I love Tears of the Kingdom. But you know what fucking sucks in a big open world Zelda game is when I have to fucking run through there. Yeah, and I, I'm i not the biggest fan of... Oops. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of fast travel systems in games. Like, I think fast travel points work best when they are, like, points on the map that will take you to other points on the map rather than just being able to teleport everywhere you want to go anytime you want to. Because I think incorporating that into the world in some way is better, but so many games just don't... just don't do that. Yeah. I mean, the best the part... God. The best part about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is that there were fast travel points basically fucking everywhere because of the shrines. Mm -hmm. So that was that was a good thing. But um, overall, I mean, when people were like, "Oh, they were open and boring," I mean, like, like, like Vagabond saying, oh, "I thought they were boring and empty." It's it's more of that they have taken the same Zelda formula of having like really cool boss fights and just made it bigger area wise. So the best part about that as a an experience of making Zelda open world is that you get to appreciate the beauty of the open world and the stylistic choices, but that wears off kind of fast is the problem. Yeah, so but see, for me, I'm totally for it, even if it is open and empty, says I loved them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm one of those people who can appreciate the beauty of it as long as I can get around the map without having to walk everywhere. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, I totally understand when, what people have issues with, and I, I can agree with their criticisms while also saying, like, that's stuff I like. I would much rather a well-made open world, but I will take any open world over a linear game. Did you like Mario Odyssey? I have not had a chance to play Mario Odyssey, actually. Well, I got, I got it here, if you want yeah. to play it. That would be fun. I did like um, Mario Galaxy and uh, Mario Sunshine. And 64, by the time I played it, was a little dated in its control scheme, but... That was not bad. This, the, this game uh, so really wants me to move to very specific locations. <laughs> the 64 remaster for uh, the DS was actually really good. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about the state of live service games and the fact that a studio like Ubisoft can just decide to turn off the servers without an offline patch? Making the game completely the unplayable. Fuck? Did you see what just happened? Okay, sorry. Um, I think there's a place for live service games, obviously, because people really enjoy, like, MMORPGs. Like, those have been massively popular even since, like, the 90s. Um, but I think the trend of making every game into a live service is just driven by corporate greed and not a company's actual ability to be able to do it. And so a lot of games suffer from the fact that they cannot maintain that. Because it's like, people are like, okay, F Fortnite was really popular, and they, they were able to do that, so every game wants to do the Fortnite thing. And then they realize they can't keep up with that, because they're not a fucking giant like Epic. Um, and even games that are doing it, like Apex, they're still struggling to keep up. Um, Fortnite struggles to keep up with itself sometimes, even though they put out so much content. Um... But I think the fact that there is this impermanence to games where you can have an experience in a game and you're not guaranteed to even 
maintain that experience um, for more than like three months because they're just going to be changing the game constantly it can get really frustrating because I definitely enjoy being able to play a game and then picking it up five to ten years down the line and enjoying it exactly the same way again because with something like you know Fortnite, Apex, Siege, all the live service games like they're so different now than they used to be and if you liked them how they used to be then the games will just like sell you the nostalgia factor by having like a nostalgia season or whatever where they revert it back to how it used to be and those it's it's weird and I don't know I don't like that so I think it's a another one of those complicated questions where like if it's done well it can be good but the the fact of the matter is if you're making a live service game you are just designing a game to eventually end and the fact that these games are designed in that way means they have no staying power in the long term um which is weird to think like it's weird to say about something like world of warcraft right like world of warcraft obviously is still around like 20 years later but it will eventually be unplayable in the future at some point they will eventually shut it down and it will become unplayable that's just a a fact of how it's designed um and so i would much rather games not be that way especially with with things like now i know ubisoft has been like really iffy about their treatment of the crew and like they're they're even getting to the point where they're like revoking access to people's copies of the crew to not be, allow them to be able to play it and instead of trying to take the time and effort to make the game playable offline in some kind of state they're just going to remove it entirely because it would cost money. And I can understand that from a business perspective. Like, why would you spend money to make a game that is no longer making any money playable? Um, because that doesn't make sense from a business perspective. It's a, from an artistic perspective. And that's the hardest part about any monetized art form is, like, it the, the business side of an art form and the art side never... They're not friends. They don't work together. And that sucks because you you need the business side in order to be able to make money to make the art better. Um, it's just a big toxic environment, you know? <laughs> I, I have no idea if any of what I said is even a coherent thought anymore. <laughs> it's, it's still coherent. And what I want to say is like, um, yeah, Game Breaker was put in there make it open or like release the dev tools that allow people to yeah uh, i think that's make yeah re release the it. dev tools Keep for the game at the end of its lifespan because you're not going to make any more money off of it and just let the community be able to do whatever else with because you're obviously not interested in maintaining it so let the community maintain it because that's what that, this what's great about modding and like mod tools like you think people would give a shit about skyrim now if there weren't robust mod tools? No. Nobody would be playing Skyrim anymore if there weren't modding. <laughs> uh, do you hate this Q&A yet? No. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a massive egotist and narcissist and I love talking about myself. <laughs> this is we were joking yeah, about at 100,000 I perform auto fellatio and this is me sucking my own dick by just talking about yeah. myself for like four hours. <laughs> Yeah, jokes on all of you chat. You're just <laughs> unpaid interns. Yeah, I totally agree that um, at the end of a game's lifespan, it should go open source. And, like, Abandonware should be open source and things like that. Um, and it's ridiculous. And especially if you abandon a property, like, it should become, like, public fair use kind of thing. But it's it's so messy. <laughs> it's so messy. Yeah. Like, I, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. I, I know there's a lot of games that have, like, community servers to keep it living. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, Plutonium, for uh, a lot of the older COD games, it's just community servers. Mm -hmm. Keep the game living and moving. Uh, do you think Warframe is a good game, or just not your type? It's not my type of game, no. I tried it, but I'm not into leader shooters i don't like because it's it's all numbers game right like i like a game with a good t 
tight sandbox. That's what I really liked about Halo Infinite is them dialing back the sandbox and making every game, every gun feel important to an aspect of the sandbox. Um, so when you have a, a looter shooter, you end up with like tons of guns, and some of them could be fun or some of them could be crap, but it's all a numbers game. So it doesn't matter if the gun's fun or not. If you find another gun with a better number, you just have to swap it off. Otherwise, you're going to be shooting yourself in the knee. Um, and that's uh, why I don't like um, like Borderlands or Destiny or Warframe. Uh, it's just I don't like that type of design. Yeah, if I ever get that itch for like a looter shooter, I'll play Borderlands 2 again. So I was very happy that um, um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint had a mode yep. that takes it off of being a looter shooter. Yeah, I was just about to You know what? That. Uh, Somebody asked earlier, what, is there a game I like that most people don't like? I, I, I would say Ghost Recon Breakpoint. That Because I've wanted to make a video on it, too, to the point where it's like, Ghost Recon Breakpoint is worth your time because it has things like, they have a buddy pass, which is almost like, lo it's, it's almost like, you have a local copy of a game and you can play with the friends because it's like if one person owns breakpoint three people can download the trial to breakpoint and they can um play it with you fully completely all the way through without owning the game which is great even the dlcs if they don't own the dlcs uh which more games should do but they don't because they want people to just pay for full price or whatever and so, like, being able to, like, I would understand having a game trial where you can, like, play with a friend for a certain amount of time, but being able to play the entire game like that is, like, very generous from a business perspective. <laughs> um, and there's, like, very rare games that actually have, like, a good, like, if you think open world action shooter four-player co-op, there's like very few options. There's like a crazy small amount. And so like while I would love for it to be Metal Gear Solid 5, it's vaguely Metal Gear Solid 5-esque. It's like I call it Metal Gear Solid 5 light because it's like not very good. Um, and it definitely could be better, but like it's fun enough that with some friends you can have a lot of fun. And so, like, if you're into that style of, of game and you need something fun to play with friends, it's, like, it's kind of fun. It's not amazing. It's a Ubisoft game. But if you go in expecting Ubisoft quality, you're not going to be disappointed by what you get. And, in fact, you might be pleasantly surprised because of the amount of things that you can do. One of the craziest ones of which is, like, you can have um, multiple missions going at the same time. So you can have, like, two people on one mission and two people on another. And the game doesn't care. Which is wild. <laughs> I can't think of a single other game that lets you do that. Like, the only reason I tried uh, Ghost Recon was because they had that mode where it's not a numbers game. Oh, I had to pass on so many games, like the RPG Assassin's Creed, because I hate, like, the... Okay, you do an assassination on a guy, you took away 10% of his health. That doesn't make sense. He's stabbed in the throat, he's dead. Uh, same thing with, like, um... Ah, I forget the... I keep... I, I always forget the name of it, but it was... An, I think it was another Ubisoft game. The Division. Yeah, The Division. You... You shoot a guy in the head, you do a percentage damage. He's shot in the head, he's dead. I didn't like those games because it just felt disgusting to play. I hated them. But... Ghost Recon had that mode where guns kill people if you hit them in the head. So, played that and I enjoyed the, I, I enjoyed a lot of it. I enjoyed it so much, like, you can pull out a pistol and it's actually gonna do damage. The funniest thing about the Ghost Recon mode is that was obviously not how the game was designed in the first place originally. And so when you get to the final boss, which is supposed to be this numbers game final boss with the number system, uh, you can just shoot him in the head once, and he dies. <laughs> like, the final boss of the game is just a dude. <laughs> like, that's, that's just, that system alone has turned me away from so many. There's very few games that I 
like that have that system where it's a numbers game. Uh, what's your opinion on Kirby and the Forgotten Land? Uh, was that the new one? I haven't played that. Yes. I don't even have a switch anymore, so. Really oh no, not Miller! Miller, no! Everybody's Generic. favorite character, Miller. <laughs> Generic white person last name. Hello. No. Mr. Miller, is it? <laughs> Americans and their souvenirs. What is your favorite is memory while playing a game? Yeah, I can see the name. Favorite memory while Johnny playing a game. Miller. I oh, love the memory of going over to my friend's house and playing Halo late into the night. Um, just and even the weird thing is like I can remember the smell of his house, and that's just part of the nostalgia of going over to his house and playing Halo. Um, and it was just so much fun. I remember uh, one time. I don't have an exact memory that I just absolutely love, but there were quite a few times where me and my brother would take our family 360 over to a friend's house have some dog shit router and just connect them on LAN so we could play LAN games on a couple TVs because we we never had that ability to do that before we didn't have Xbox Live we didn't have anything like that our town was pretty small and nobody had a console so it was like when we could do it it was the most fun we'd ever have and our people this is the price you pay. Crazy how your voice sounds this way without being pre-recorded. Congrats on 100k. <laughs> Does my voice sound different when I pre-record it? I mean, you obviously have that tone uh, when you're pre-recording. Recently, like, I played through Battlefield 3 with the help of some friends. Yeah, like... There's a different tone to it. I'll just answer every just... question like this from now on. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> he got close to the mic. He's serious. <laughs> Recently, I played through... <laughs> it's really close to the mic. Recently. Uh, please don't. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just do it like this. Like, I'm not a real person. I'm just an AI voice responding to things. <laughs> you have become what you hate the most. Yeah. Uh, what side were you on in Console Wars? PS4. PlayStation. PlayStation, you said. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the Console Recently Wars are dumb. That's, that's a fucking great one. Recently, the chat's been saying dumbass questions. No, there's been some good questions. I, oh, there absolutely have, have been, but... I have enjoyed answering the questions that were aimed at Will, uh, but I have to go plan my Japan trip now. So have fun. Ah, uh, lame. See weeb. you guys later. Yeah, I'm a weeaboo. I'm going to go become a samurai and study the blade. Hey, if you, oh, damn it. He's <laughs> gone already. I was going to ask if he found any wees he could bring him back for me. Because, like, there's a fuck what? ton of there, uh, wee. Like, there's a lot of consoles oh, in Japan that are just okay. self. Yeah. Yeah. They just sell for stupid cheap at like uh, one store called Hard Off. Uh, they've got like Game Cubes and 64s, everything. They're like less than 15 US dollars hmm. each. That's cool. Oh no, this is, I remember this. This is the orange and green point and click section. We love point and click adventure games in this chat. Matt KC fan spotted? Fucking A right. I fucking posted a, I a one hour video today. What? Or recently. Alright, what's Dude, the. Him. It's not that hard. What's the secondary zoom? It's probably gonna be like fucking L or something. Zoom is. Wait, what? Zoom is right mouse button. What's the, like, zoom in button? I know there is. There's, like, a way to toggle it. Scroll up, maybe? No, I tried that. Uh, a game record, that. yes. It was fucking amazing. Huh? Watch the thing, actually. can't land until it's blacked out down there. Start no-scoping at it. You'll hit it eventually. 
<laughs> How do I zoom in? Can you hit like N or something to disable the night vision? Nope. Double it's not W, that's, no, that's moving sense. around. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should be able to zoom in. No way this is a field of view bug. Oh, it might be. Can I set it to just... I can't manually set this. Mandatory breaking the game. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's a field of view bug. Two left. Oh, holy shit, the, the scope is so much better with that. Keep it coming. With the proper field of view, who would have thought? Good shot. One four. LZ secured. Have eyes on. Over. Oh my god. Default FOV is so fucking low. Dude, yeah, I, I've been playing armor recently with some friends, because, you know, I, I... I actually do enjoy it a little bit. But, um... Fucking... The, f the default field of view in that game, and you cannot change it. Sucks. Yeah. It's like, did you want to see in 60 degree field of view by default? No. Yeah, I remember this mission very specifically being just awful. Roger, not the greatest. Eyes on. Damn, chat out of questions Shoot again. Right to get eyes on, over. Well, there's only so many people watching. <laughs> yeah, only so many questions in the world. I need the street cleared. One, four. So you were recently we're playing the game with the help of your friends? Maybe. What do you Speaking of friends, hi, Tally. Hello. Welcome. You missed some fun questions. Oh, did I? Yeah. That sucks. I didn't want to answer him anyways. Take him out. Come on, let's go. I need to get string pulled up so I can see chat. Oh yeah, we don't have moderator. Have you ever thought about making run. your own game? I mean, sure. I've I've had game ideas, but the problem is like the amount of time and effort it takes to make a game. Uh, and the amount of skill required, like I don't have the right skills, so I would have to learn to make a game. Okay, now I can change my app of you back. I need to learn to make a game and make the game. Like, I've had ideas, and I've talked about an idea I had for a game about, um, it would be a VR game where you play as an office worker who's due for a promotion at the end of the day, but he has a heart attack, and so you make a deal with the devil that if you can make it to the end of the day and get the promotion, he'll give you your soul back. So he agrees under the condition that your soul is not allowed to go back in your body, and so the entire gameplay loop is just tossing around a ragdoll and pretending to be oh, yeah. alive, like Weekend at Bernie style. How would so, love a game like that. It would um, be so, like, I don't think that would be that that crazy of a scope of a game, but, like, I don't have the skills to do that, you know? <laughs> I would love that so much. I know, right? It's a fantastic idea. Like you've said in the past, everyone has ideas, but nobody likes the ideas guy unless the, you're, they're being paid. <laughs> they're being paid for it. How do you feel about EA? EA, the company, or is that short for early access? Uh, the company, I assume. Okay. Um, I mean, cool. They're just a game company. I don't know. There's a lot of big game companies that are just dog shit. Welcome back, Tally. Discord did the funny. Anyway, uh, I thought you got mad that I uh, cut you off. No. Um, I don't think these guys were supposed to die, so they like. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> and I just randomly scared. die. You failed the mission, <laughs> activating the bomb in your chest. The what?
Oh, yeah, if we boy. talk about early access, early access is another one of those things where it entirely depends on, uh, like, the situation. Because, like, a lot of early access games can come out and be good. And it's great that early access was able to get them, like, the, the backing that they need. Because if you're a really small company or, like, a single dev, like, doing early access gets you money early on to be able to continue the development of the game and that's good but there's definitely a lot of games where it's like they're just milking early access for money and they've been in development for like way longer than would be reasonable for a game <laughs> Daisy. With, with like no intention of ever re fully releasing yeah yeah like um Hold up. yeah that's the early access quote unquote when it's just never gonna be full release ever yeah that's like, just, correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't yeah. Baldur's Gate an early access game? Yes. Like, Baldur's Gate 3? Okay. Yeah, Baldur's Gate was an early oh. access for a couple of years. Yeah, there's, uh... Other times where it's just fantastically done. But, uh... Yeah, so Sobe Wombo did a whole thing uh, about the... I don't know exactly what the topic was, but... Regardless it of what it's labeled... Your first impression is what you make to everyone. If it's bad, no one's gonna play it. So if you just do, oh, it's early access, you can play this game for cheaper, and it sucks, doesn't matter if it's the best game in the world when it's full release, nobody's gonna like it because of their first impression. I think it depends. Pirate Software's Heartbound is an example of a long time early access that he says will eventually leave it when all content is coded in. Isn't Pirate Software just like one guy? Yeah. Isn't because, it just, like, uh, just the dude? Yeah, the game dev is just Thor, just the one guy. He right. has two others, I forget their names, that does the artwork and the music. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's, there's times where it's like, it's just one guy doing that project. Also, from what I know of Thor, he's something of a perfectionist. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. When he, I think he worked at Blizzard, he made a tool. Not just one guy. Not just one guy. Yeah, Pirates of the Software is just one guy, but, um... Four people is a part of it. Interesting. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, he used to work at Blizzard, I believe, and he made this tool for QA, because he was in the QA at the time. And this tool that he made did testing overnight when, you know, everyone was out of office and everything. But they didn't give him... They didn't pay him back for all the time that was saved and the equipment he had to buy to make it. It was just... Yeah. Thanks I don't know if you noticed the superhuman mountain. leap I just did, but saved myself yeah, no, at the bottom no. of the ladder. Yeah, yeah no, I saw that. That was, that was lit. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Blizzard, Amazon Game Studios, the Department of Defense, and then himself. Yep, that's One hell of a fucking resume. Yeah, that's his work path. <laughs> and I love going through his short comments where people are like, yeah, the more you get into, like, security defense is the more you realize that you just need to throw your phone in the ocean and never touch it again. <laughs> and you just parts those comments. It's like, it's not a lie. Stealth. Stealth. What? What? Where did you get shot from? Uh, <laughs> the giant hands. My first dad is Navy intelligence, I know. Sorry, but there's no such thing as any sort of intelligence in the military. Yeah. <laughs> be it Navy, be it Army, be it Air Force. Sorry. Your intelligence slowly dies off as you rank up. Not even. It's part of the recruitment process. Once you, once you like, once you, like, sign your soul to the devil, you get instantly lobotomized. Ah. I would know. My recruiter put up the ice pick too early. <laughs> I don't really remember this part, but I also don't remember much about Battlefield 3 at all. 
very memorable. I definitely didn't like include a lot of chunks of this game in the cast. <laughs> Just like skip it because there's not much plot. Yeah, not much going on. It's just a lot of running and shooting and dudes. Huh. Not quite. He was in field information recon. Dude, get the joke, please. Get in the bit. Get in the bit. I'm not being serious. Can't put you good, man. On topic, does anyone have crayons nearby? No, not for you. Aww. Let's get moving. What, are you hogging them all for yourself? Yes, fuck off, bro. Okay. Just, just, the can I have the green one? Come on. You do not get any, you do not get any of my, <laughs> any, any of my crayons, all right? All right, fine, I'll go get colored pencils from the store. You go get colored pencils from the store. You go get crazy art colored pencils, you absolute fucking slob. Through here. Friendly fire will not be tolerated. Do it again. <laughs> no one doubted you, Game Breaker. <laughs> say your, <laughs> say your new name. No, that's oh, wait, the, no, that's, the, that's, the yeah. that's, that's Navy intelligence Game, guy. The guy named Game Breaker. Sorry, Will breaks too much that I uh, lost <laughs> brain cells for a minute. Yo, you setting up a vlog? What is this fucking content warning? Dude, Logan Paul ain't got nothing on this. <laughs> This is Misfit 1-3, I mean RV Delta. Will knows I'm a bit over the head kind of dude. Do you know Game Breaker, Will? I do. You do know Game Breaker? Okay. Yeah. He he was, he's the, <laughs> the one that I said owns the Helldiver archive who thought I was unjustly banned from the Halo archive. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see, I see. You're a homie then. I love you. Hmm? Do I go through? All right. All right, good, good, good. I just ripped ass and my Discord <laughs> activity light went on. <laughs> that, the internet equivalent of dropping a textbook to hide the to hide the sound. <laughs> the coughing. Wait for. Wait, no, game breaker. You're good. There are no. All jokes go over my head, and they need to be explained to me, along with any sort of pop culture reference. So don't even trip. Holy shit! That's the amount of times I've heard a joke, and I'm just shit. I'm just nodding my head. Yeah, I understand. I do not fucking know. Mandarin. Dog. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> look! 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 I'm it, never it's... gonna live that down. I'm just gonna put that in my no. files now. <laughs> Mandarin. It does. It did not know Mandarin and Chinese were the same thing. <laughs> Like, honestly, I'll take that over Will dragging you into a call and forcing you to watch Terminator. Yeah, it was like, oh, Tally yeah, doesn't know Terminator 2. Uh, we're gonna watch that now. We're gonna watch Terminator 2. Well, my first instance of being in broadcast was just, um, I was playing Lego Fortnite with Cross and I was just pulled in here like, oh, hey guys. <laughs> you actually put your money where your mouth is and I'm here now. Oh, okay. Favorite American Chinese food? Favorite American Chinese food? Uh, sweet and sour shrimp, but specifically from this local place. Because normally I like sweet and sour chicken over sweet and sour shrimp, but the way this local place does it, it's just so good. Fuck, dude. Nothing hits harder than having like a local place do something that you normally wouldn't get, and then it just absolutely sucks. Yeah. No better feeling. Fucking... Uh, I remember the GTA stream. I was just lurking in it, playing the Lego Fortnite with Cross, hearing my name being dropped. I'm like, oh, I'm going to fuck with him. And I, that day, I was just so fucking tired from work, and I just didn't get much sleep. You pulled me in here like, all right, you're the energy. I'm like, this isn't the time. <laughs> you want Game Breaker in on this call, Will? <laughs> Do I want? <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. We don't have a fourth person. Yeah, why the hell not? Where the fuck are you? Turns out he's actually just some six-year-old. It's either the highest pitched voice or the lowest. I don't think Game Ricker can even see the channel. Just join a random voice channel and I'll throw you in. Copy. Blackburn, Campo. 
So that call will have seven and a half brain cells? Hey, that's, that's too many. Seven and a four. Se well, seven point four. We need Alpha Shear alive. We need the intel on the nukes we found at the bank. I do not want a Bin Laden style resolution. Do you understand? There they are! They mentioned Bin Laden. Oh, the gamer has arrived. <laughs> nice sound effect. Makovic, on me. Yes, I like I like Lego games. I, I do very much enjoy them. Yes, Lego games are great. They're I, fantastic. The the Indian the first Indiana Jones one a bit ago because I was like I need something that is stupid and like buzz. Mm -hmm. One four. One three setting. I might do that again because I am tired as balls. This ten hours of work is okay. it, it is for real. I I do it for about four or five days a week. Oh, Tell me then, I don't have to take out these lights again. And then depending on it is like about five hours at home, but it's Area doing clear. customer support and I hate it. Oh my god, holy shit. Customer support sucks. And it's over really, really customer support too. And it's over text. I told Ray that he needs to do customer support bingo. Where you make yeah. a bingo card based on what terrible customers say commonly and then try to get bingo. And that'll keep it you know, from losing your fucking mind when you get like the 80th shitty customer for the, of the day. I should do that with my the auto job. That'll oh. Even for me, I only get about maybe max of 10 in mine because it's slow for the system that we use. But it is some of the stupidest garbage that people just cannot get two brain cells working over. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> Be I mean, because I, I work for an ISP. It, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. You know, well, no. here's the thing. I work for a, a Korean in particular. It's not as if that name doesn't exist in other places. But their customer support that I have to deal with is like these people who are setting up their phones and it seems like they have never touched the one in about 10 years. Even though they oh. use the goddamn day. That's... Ugh. That, that's a rip. I'm sorry. Yeah, and Tally oh. does car stuff. Yeah, let me tell you this... Sounds just as bad. Let me, yeah, the brain cells knocking together with how m much people are around cars, they don't understand a thing about them, and it's honestly shocking. Just, Which again, we go back to, like, let's just get rid of cars. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of cars, I'm yeah. In, I'm in Pennsylvania, so like, the people that drive here are fucking insane. Why, why, why is everybody I know from Pennsylvania? Like, what, what is going on? I was born here, and I used to exist here enough. You rolled the wrong dice, you chose the wrong spawn location. I don't want to hear anything no, with the wrong spawn no, location. No. I don't want to hear anything <laughs> with the wrong spawn location, Ray. I, here's the thing, my, as I said, my birth father was military, so I had to move around a lot, so, uh, uh. Uh, and the worst uh, part was, as a kid, my immune system was shot, so that was even worse. Uh, Will, when you do a cast recording, do you play the whole game in one go? No, not always. <laughs> with with oh, this God, one, I probably will, because it's only four hours. But, you wouldn't uh, be able to do that with a lot of games anyway. Yeah, like, yeah, you think I played GTA well. in 25 hours in one go? Wait, you didn't speedrun? I forgot this game had a suppression system that makes your whole fucking screen blurry. Uh, is like, if you did something like, say, Hitman, you'd be playing for that for like... Almost two days. Maybe, just for the challenges alone. Well, if I were to do Hitman for Cass, I would just do completing the main objectives, not side objectives. Just right. walk up and shoot the main and go away. Yeah, which is why I thought it would not be all that interesting as a Cass game, because it's the same every time. It's a great game, and I love it. Well, the worst part is about that now is, as I was saying in the chat, they've taken all of the games and shoved them all in the same thing, but they split all the content up so you have to buy everything again. It's yeah, I remember. It's Fucking awful. Like, it's I like some of the worst DLC packs I've ever fucking seen. Right. I like I have Hitman one and two, but if I wanted to buy three, I have to go find an old code for it. It's funny. I just can't wait for all the new upcoming Destiny shenanigans we're gonna get up to. And because Destiny recordings are always the most fun. 
I'm like, I, I've nearly here. bought every D2 expansion up to this point. I think anything after... Which ring? Bleh. Which ring? I didn't know. <laughs> you can't say that either. You can't say which queen either. Which queen? Which queen? But like, and any of the content after I, I didn't buy because I got immensely bored trying to get into it again. I just <laughs> Your poor voice is so shot right now. <laughs> yes, because... Well, uh, well that night I had a sandwich, so all that time. The sandwich shot your voice? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit. It has happened to vocal cords at gunpoint. <laughs> I should probably drink some... <laughs> and drink some yeah. fucking water, dude. Jesus. See, I do yeah. vocal exercises. And I lie. <laughs> I don't. Here's the thing. I don't. Do, I don't have to do vocal, like vocal stuff very much. So my what? My vocal cords just aren't, aren't to that point. I did actually not. I actually did not notice that I was supposed to be doing something. <laughs> I think you're supposed to shoot a very specific guy. Because here's Which the weird thing. Like my all... voice will work entirely fine talking with the customer for God knows how long, and then after that point, it is like okay, no. Nope. Yeah, I, I fucking get in these voice chats and I'm picked on for my voice being crackly after talking for eight hours straight. Yeah. And no breaks. Uh -huh. well, I, I, I guarantee you, if you could see my arms after I get off of work, you would all make fun of me for it because that is grody. Yeah, for me, I don't have to worry about with my hands. It's just like... If I deal with glass a lot during a day, then yeah, my hands are gonna look like He's definitely dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead as fuck. Nope. Oh. He's just napping. A little eepy. I got him. You cover the road. With what? I don't have a blanket. Fucked up bad. We'll cover it in piss. I gotta mark my territory. Right back. Oh. Uh, speaking of of work shenanigans, I I have another story for today. I was gonna say, oh, speaking no. of covering things in piss, <laughs> <laughs> I I wanted I wanted to cover this guy in piss, but you know just don't. So there is there is there is a policy at my work: customers are not allowed to be in the area where cars are being worked at. Mm -hmm. Right? That makes these sense. These customers are customers are stupid, and they don't understand that these are multi-ton vehicles and they will fall on your head and they will crunch you, you. Do something. yeah they will kill you they will fall you do not go in there plain and simple also there's just a bunch of fucking chemicals that people will be fucking stupid with and will handle wrong right brake fluid will take the hair off of your head yes I've tried this <laughs> it, it will do it it will do it oh, Jesus God. Technically, I didn't actually try it, but, you know, a brake flush machine exploded and it covered me in brake fluid and I ended up losing a bit of hair, but that doesn't matter. Um, this dude, I'm working on his car. He comes sauntering up hey. Hey, to stay awake. where on. I'm at. I'm like, hey, Don't die on me like, now. Hey, what you I get it. What you you want to watch, you want to watch me work on the car? Oh, like, on, cool, I get it. I don't care. Can't come in here, though. He's like, it's my car, I can do what I want. And he's like, unfortunately, you can't. Because things in here will kill you if you are not properly trained on how to handle them. Frostbite 2. Yeah, um, that's the engine. That's the engine. Okay, oh uh, don't get me started on Frostbite. Uh, hopefully. So he continues being a goober. Like, this guy's in like his 40s, maybe. Continues being a goober, and I'm like, I haven't drained this dude's oil yet, right? It's up in the middle, and I'm about halfway done with the inspection. So, like, the car is fully put together. All I have to do is just, like, lower it down, and I can drive it away without any issue. Right, and this guy wants to wants to be a dick about it. He's like, it's my car, I can do what I want. And he's like, <laughs> I can't have you in here. If you're in here, I have to, I, I have to lower the car down so that you don't get crushed by it. Because it there's because if this lift fails, like I'm insured, I'm insured. My family's gonna get money if I if I die to your car. Your family is not gonna get money if they die to your car. All right. <laughs> don't so don't don't even with me right now. So of course he walks in. So I'm like, all right, cool. And all of my coworkers, 
despite being dumb as rocks. All join it and they all lower their cars down to as low as they possibly can. Because some of them have the wheels off. And we all just stop working. We all just stop while this dude just... Just waits there. And stares me down. For about three minutes until my manager comes by and says, Dude, get the fuck out or I'll have you trespassed. <laughs> That's hilarious. People are, people are so dumb. I don't yeah, get I mean, it. Thankfully for for me, the, our back area has a, a code lock on it, so like you have to know it if you want it in the back, basically. Cover up on those doors. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have that. Code again in the back. Severe bleeding. Shot setting. Oh, doesn't look good. Shut the fuck well, up, Ray. <laughs> for us, it's re for us it's required because uh, well, not not so much for my stuff. Well, technically for my stuff, but the major thing for them is because they have actual phones that they're selling in the back. Um, uh, I see. So, so that kind of stock, that kind of stuff, you don't, you can't really like mess around with because if someone does a stupid and tries to steal something, ah, oh, that's bad. That is very bad. You can't All have the, that we'll happen. Try to, try to steal the demo units, which is hilarious, because like, you realize those are tracked, right? <laughs> like, come on now. Uh, from a scale to one to one thousand, how shitty are the customers? Just going Over for nine thousand. It's for those of us I, who think, have real I jobs. think I saw somebody uh, add like an actual mm. question there too. Like uh, for me, I, I know, see. I know, not to like interrupt your flow of talking about your thing. But. Nah, I I don't even. What's your status on getting to the mall? Over. I mean, why does Pennsylvania have the worst roads in the country? No, I think it was from uh, worse than you think. Did I? Where did I miss it? Oh, uh, uh, Bills and Colored Powder. Yeah. You gotta relocate. Come on. Okay, well, yeah. What's your build? For the, for the video. Yeah. Yeah, what's your built-in color pattern, primary and secondary color you use whenever you get the chance to customize in video games? Usually, um, it, it'll either be purple and light blue or, uh, like, bright pink. Just, just like, colors I can see pretty well. Um, bright pink camo. <laughs> yeah, I, I know bright pink is, like, an odd choice because I am, uh, I, I have trouble with red, but, like, pink I usually can see pretty easily. Will have very effeminate eyes. I have very effeminate eyes. I'll be back. I need that because you can see pink. <laughs> That's how that works, right? Yeah. Effeminate uh, eyes. <laughs> I'm definitely shooting that guy, but he must be behind something. Ooh, that was in the dick. No, no dick shots. This is dick. He'll just dick shot all of them. How could you? The oh, there's an overpopulation issue. This is just solving the fertility problem. This is solving They're the fertility fertile. problem. They're too fertile. <laughs> As opposed to three. <laughs> Bottom surgery via three three eight Lapua. Is that right what I'm now. hearing? He doesn't look good. We'll come. I think he's delirious. I cannot stop Solomon any more than you can stop the sun from rising. Here comes our ride. Make the earth stop spinning, idiot. Blackbird. It's not that hard. To pull out. He wants me to pull out. I've never done it before. See, it's because of the fertility problem. Everyone's too fertile, and we gotta pull out. What? Or. Are litters officially a thing in human physiology? Is that a thing that we can do? Can we call someone, like, a bunch of kids a litter? Especially if they're all from, like, one parent. Yeah, whenever I go to Walmart, there's just a litter. Just always running around. I, I say that very specifically for my area, because who boy. Hi, Macvic. Hi, Cole. Bye, Cole. Yeah. So what's up? What's up with the what's up with like the the dust effect? Yeah, I think it's like really pronounced because I have the FOV turned up, but like that, that's always been a big issue with this game. Yeah, I I can't see anything. Yeah. I 
I get in the back now? No. 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 no and open doors. Can in the helic. Can't get in the helicopter. Come on. You played siege. Do not attempt to approach the helicopter. Do not attempt to board the helicopter. Can I get in here now, please? No. Help me. Gotta defend them. Why do you adjust the FOV for most games? Because I get motion sick. <laughs> it's a problem. Like, I literally cannot complete games with a low FOV because it makes me ill. And now we can go. Yeah, any, any fucking game that comes out this year, if it doesn't have a FOV slider for this first person, I can die. I don't care. It completely breaks this game to do it because I'm using an external tool, but it's necessary. Yeah, Will's eyeballs just suck. Get the bombs. <laughs> he used them for leverage. And he stole them. He used me. And he uses everyone. He had dog betrayed me with his plans. Trains. Favorite, Favorite bullet caliber? I don't have one. <laughs> really? You don't have one? I feel like you're insulting your Texan heritage here. <laughs> Whatever I can get my hands on, that shit's expensive. Come on, hang in there. Come on. Really, I, for me, I'm a big fan of 950 JDJ. You know, that's a really good. I like Cannonball. Just, just, a, just a Cannonball. <laughs> cannonball. I like yeah. Grape Shot. Throw whatever you can find in that barrel and fire. Maybe there's some good intel in here. Hey, Will, if an astronaut mm. shot a cosmonaut on the moon, would that be fucked up or what? Sure. <laughs> uh huh? It would be fucked up. What also, how's the stream it? quality? I have it set to ultra low latency, so it might be a little low, but. I mean, looks fine to me. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm chilling. Oh, I'll give it like to you both free. Discord and YouTube look fine. The only thing that doesn't look fine is this fucking filter with the dust on it. Ah, yeah. uh, worse than you think said it's fine. I'm sorry. Did you know that we have an we have an authority on what's fine here? Yep. He was redeployed based on the info we got from his phone. And where was that? Northern Iran. I answered quite a few questions on this stream. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah. No one but you yeah. heard Alvisier's confession. No one You're gonna make Scoob edit it. We have to stop <laughs> You took the phone call. You know he's here. That's all well and good, sir. Huh. But we still need hey, Scoob. To good plans. luck. This next month, <laughs> you have a big credibility problem. Fine. Kaparov <laughs> had a villa in the Gulag. Scoob, hey. is Scoob even... No, Scoob's, Scoob's playing Hell Divers. Right yeah. I'm not here. I just wonder if he was like just hiding in Chapman. No, he's playing Hell Divers. I have considered if I wanted to go play games. I should be but, too. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we play Counter Strike. God. <laughs> okay. Caprol's compound's on the other side of this valley, just past the Gilad Bridge. So who is this guy? The hundred K celebration. We'll see Rats pistol round. <laughs> oh, that's my cats are fed. Welcome back. The cats are feds. Oh God. No, I. <laughs> uh, no, I have two cats and they needed fed because they were going nuts all about it. Those cats work for the DoD. <laughs> no, it'd be the NS. <laughs> hey, Macabin, you know wake you will... up. You know you... what you must you? do. <laughs> will mm, K is like a five-year-old. Okay. You are not beating the. You are not. You are not beating the five-year-old. Uh, allegations. We're talking about cats. Show cats. We cannot show any cats. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, no. Thing possible with the way that the stream is. You know what? You know what, Dan? You know what, Dan? Two hundred and fifty bucks. I will go to their house and show you the cats. Motherfucker! I'm on the. Wait, where? Oh wait, actually, where would you? Where are you? I'm thinking. Wait. Far away. What are you, West Coast? West Coast? Oh, yeah. I, I, li I live in I live in I live in Utah. I'm stuck here. I can't leave. I've got a heli back ready for you if you need out. 
you pull in the extract. Pull in the extract. Just throw the flare. Do you still have a secondary weapon? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do I not have a secondary weapon? Hold up. Rocket launcher. And no, I do not take Roblox. I only take, um, Dogecoin. Uh, fuck the fucking, uh, West, fucking West United States. Yeah. Trust me, what I don't want to be here. What I'm trying out, though, will, I'm sure, be excessively broken is, uh -oh. I believe Battlefield Bad Company is now fully playable on a PS3 emulator. And oh. there's a oh. mod to mod the FOV, which would mean uh -oh. I could cover it for Cass. Oh boy. Through totally legal there's actually a lot you could do with the, the PS3 Russian emulator now, I think, games wise, as far as the compatibility goes. He's telling me that you emulate, Will? How scummy and how awful. <laughs> Okay, bad bad there's some games. There's some games that I just I have to play from an emulator now just because like the PC version no longer exists. Yeah. Yeah, what do you mean um, you have to emulate through abandoned hardware and software so that it's unplayable? You need to like eat some there's honey there's game breaker. There is <laughs> I, my voice just sucks, that's how it normally is anyway. But, but no, there is actually a particular game that I have on emulation just because I can't get a PC version at this point anymore. Um, and that is Iron Man 2, as much as that's a weird one. Hmm. It's a really decent game for what it's worth, and I'm like, I kind of want to play it again. I pulled out my PS2 copy of Kingdom Hearts 2 and made a ROM to play it on an emulator when I played oh, Final Jesus. Fantasy 15 and thought, no fucking way Kingdom Hearts 2 is this bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And it just turns out, yeah, Final well, Fantasy 15 no. just sucked. I don't, I don't even go near like, uh, not Final Fantasy. I don't go near Kingdom Hearts at this point. Is like, well, I should say I don't go near anything past I played. You think the Russians Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PS2, but like, covering their asses. We know they're I can't even understand what the hell is going on with any You know what, that, that is very fair. Everything in the middle is, the timeline, it exists. No one knows I'm like, what it's about. I'm like, me back when I had a PS2 couldn't even finish like the first, like, I think the third, sorry, not first, the third level I think Kingdom Hearts 2, like, I was a kid that couldn't figure out whatever the hell was going on with that level. Yeah. I had no problems with Kingdom Hearts 2. I had problems with the first game, and I still would, because it turns out the first game is just designed by psychopaths, and it's basically impossible to complete without a guide. I had nothing to do with the design of that game. Leave me alone. <sighs> Where you don't have a monopoly on being a psychopath. I do, actually. I got it at the Monopoly store. <laughs> but, um, what? I I didn't ever get into Final Fantasy. That's that's one of the like I like tactics stuff, but I don't think I ever really had the inkling for um, for uh, Final Fantasy. That's okay, cool. guess I Did can't I take out that LAV. Can you walk through the LAV? Let's find out. Yes. Yes, okay. I can. <laughs> okay. Ten centimeters out. L. Life one is peak when emulated on a phone. Nice voice. Where'd you get it? The voice store. Got it from my mom. Would you get your clothes though? Uh, nice gender nerd. Did your dad pick it out for you? <laughs> Technically, no. If you yes. want to do, a... I'm, I don't remember what what weird ass console. Wait, there's no one driving that car. <laughs> Battlefield shenanigans. <laughs> Only in Battlefield. Yeah. But no, there's this no, was the thing we we didn't catch it necessarily last time, but now I can catch it for sure. There's just nobody driving. 
forgot they forgot to put a driver in there. All they had to do was just pose a guy, they didn't even have to animate him. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. I'll just do what Halo Combat Evolved did and just manually. There's a weird, but yeah, there's a weird it. like other country console like that was only of that country that had that life on it. I don't remember what it was called. Famicom. <laughs> no, I'm thinking no, not like overseas, like um, like Western. Country. The Canada box. Oh, the Nanocom. No. I think it was. I think it was a South American console. I want to say. Ah, the Ouya. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it would have been... The Ouya was a Western, well, it was like an American console, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and for some reason it had Resident Evil 4. It was $200 and an Android box. That's such, I... that's such a weird thing to think now, because there are games that were on like the fo like a phone that everybody was trying to play, and they just don't no longer exist because they're either incompatible or just removed. Yeah. Yeah, game oh, game me. archival stuff is just fucked, just completely yeah. fucked. I just want to play Angry Birds again, man. I loved Angry Birds. You can't. So many well, games I think you can find all played, the. But just can't get anymore. We have to get to the other side of the valley. You can find ASAP. all the game. We have uh, solid intel on Russian uh, like, infantry moving in the northern anyway. direction. Oh, well. They're tipping their hand to Kavrov locations. Yeah, but safely archived is the biggest part because the next checkpoint. hell, Understood? ringtones that are archived <laughs> have malware in them. <laughs> Ask me fair. how I know. <laughs> I'm gonna break into the Library of Congress to get my hands on a copy of the original Angry Birds. That's how the Library of Congress works, right? Yeah. Kremlin announced that Washington the, better to Xbox and PlayStation. There are people who are like, the Battlefield 3 campaign is great. I love this. And just do they not think for themselves? Do they just no. absorb the graphics and they think that makes it good? I think. I think they're remembering a lot of times, especially between Battlefield, COD, uh, all of those. A lot of times it was the promotional material and like the the hype at that time, because that's usually what happens. Is like it's all of the, the hype coming out even at launch, and then it's, everybody kind of just leans off of it eventually. That's what I think because with the, people who say that the ODST oh, the campaign is good. That's what I think. They just they're absorbed in the the trailers and things. The ODST campaign is good, and you're just, you're just hinge head pilled. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it's an interesting departure in terms of a game, because obviously. But is it even a departure? Mean, it's just Halo Three. <laughs> it's just Diet Halo Three. I guess, but I, I don't know. It's, I guess you could say it's a departure in the sense that a you're not playing a dude that can punch a dude in the face into a ten mile radius. Except uh, you are, <laughs> from a gameplay perspective. I guess. Well, I, I, I think weren't there at least a few limits that, like you couldn't actually you, do. Is the... Yeah, like you couldn't, you couldn't melee brutes to death. Is effectively it wasn't like a three hit thing. It was like seven. Yeah, but you yeah, could still, uh, you could still uh, jack vehicles and and like right. jump on the back of a. Wraith and, and drop a grenade in it or punch it to death. Warp yeah, face time to fit a needler in your hand. Yeah, I, I don't know, I guess. I or guess take out a scarab by yourself it. as a single ODST, which an entire team of Spartans can't do in the next game. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess, uh. I guess there were some things that they guess they wanted to keep, to keep it consistent, but it's like at that point, departure entirely. Don't, oh, don't middle hand it. Yeah. ODSD has this? better. Oh, okay. This is a taste. ODSD has better enemy encounters and has better character writing than Halo Three. Uh, better character writing. Maybe I guess I can kind of understand that. Um, I mean, I guess better you... encounters? Not at all. I disagree with that completely. I mean, uh, in terms of character writing, I guess you could say that only because. 
if you take it in context, Halo 3 doesn't have a ton of character writing in it because it's effectively kind of fillering in for what they couldn't do with Halo 2. Or okay. yeah, what do you mean? It's there's... funny because it was like with Halo 2, it was kind of ahead of its time and really ambitious with its writing. And people didn't like it, so they're like, okay, for Halo 3, we're just not going to give a shit about the writing, and it's going to be really bad. Well, no, <laughs> Dude, what do you mean? The, the, were... Halo 3, the Halo 3 characters were fantastic. You have Blank Slate, Keith David, and Two War. Well, the, th the thing is, for Halo 3, they were originally going to have all that chucked into Halo 2 as well, but they ran out of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They wanted so much in it that they had, like, literally ran out of time. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Is like they, they were able they take, took the criticisms of Halo Two and changed them for Halo Three. So one of the things was the criticism was for Halo Two is that the cutscenes were long and too serious or whatever. So they just toned down the writing, <laughs> and it's just noticeably worse. I fall asleep to Halo Two's campaign uh, campaign cutscenes sometimes, mainly because I like Keith David and Steve Down's voice. Yeah. And then the, the even stupider thing was like, oh yeah, people didn't like the Arbiter, so we're just going to basically write him out of the campaign. Um, yeah. So he's just kind of there, and he gets his little arc of killing Truth after having done basically nothing the entire campaign. Um, and that part's even stupidly written, because it's like, the Grave Mind gets to Truth, and then the Arbiter's like... No, I wanted to kill him. And he's like, okay, let me uninfect him real quick so you can kill him. And they're like, cool, thanks, bro. Now we get the cool, then you must be silenced line. <laughs> and um, the only word Chief says to the Arbiter in Halo 3 is worse, which is in response to the Arbiter asking the dumbest fucking question he possibly could because he dealt with the Flood more than Chief did in Halo 2. But he says, what is it, more brutes? When he sees the uh, the Flood ship coming in. <laughs> but I've, I've long since given up on listening to other people's opinions on what is good writing because there's so many people who are like, oh, Halo Reach's writing is phenomenal. <laughs> That's because it is. Where? Where's Matt? Where? Where's Matt? <laughs> I, I think with, with Halo especially, a lot of the times, it, at least in my case, it comes down to when you came into the franchise a lot of the time, because I, I, I had come in with Reach. I, I didn't really take in the story at that point. But... Look, I just want people to be honest about their opinions. Like, if you like Halo Reach because it was your first Halo, that's fine. And it's funny just admit I know that. Don't admit like that it's Reach. like <laughs> that's my first Halo. Like, like oh, Reach. it's it's the best one, and the dark and gritty tone totally works and doesn't just juxtapose the the gameplay or the rest of the series entirely. And the 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 dark and gritty atmosphere is is great, and you. Uh, it's sad when all the people die. And also, the armor looks wonky to me. I won't lie. Sir, what the fuck the is going fuck on? What are you doing? I think these are two different this weapons. War, Chris, don't like but it, go join the they don't have an animation swap for them, I guess, because it's the same weapon. So it thinks it's, it's just. just I got run over. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. We're gonna have to do all that again, Lamel. Uh, I hope not. Uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed Reach mostly because it was a game that me and my brothers could play together. And that's all we had. So we had a lot of fun with that. Our our storyline of uh, Halo games goes uh, Halo 2, uh, Reach 4, and then we just Go got a careful. PS4. Mm -hmm. Mine uh, was um, mine was game. Reach, then four, Maybe then five, then MCC, and then. Chris, if you don't like it, you can go join the I started airport. playing Halo with Halo One. So did I, oh, man. but I, I was, was four. four. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that car does not have anyone in it still. I can't believe they decided to do that. I can't believe it's not butter. AI driven or some shit, I don't know. Actually, even, uh, with every FOV point you up, you up, uh, a soldier gets deleted from the from the from the game. Holy fucking shit! Yeah. 
And it's weird because like the multiplayer that I like to play, if I play, it, is like either like <laughs> okay. Halo One or maybe maybe Halo Three. Like those are like the in betweens. Hmm. I don't. Imagine playing Halo multiplayer in the year of our Lord 2024. <laughs> and like, I sort of can, I, I sort of went when I care to play Infinite's multiplayer, but it, at this point, I have just kind of peeled away from that because like, it's it feels boring playing Infinite's multiplayer for me. That's that's for my perspective. It mm -hmm. can be fun, especially with uh, custom Shit. games. Right. I, I like it a lot. It's just it's the exact kind of thing I'm looking for, but I can totally understand not enjoying it. I would probably play custom games more if the system didn't just break every two seconds. Because I, I, I kept having that with trying to do custom games, is always have errors on it. Dear fucking lord. Oh, oddball sucks ass. It always will. You're just, you're just bad. You're just fucking bad, Ray. All right, shut up. I was great. You're just bad. You're just bad. Oh, you're my. bad. You're bad. You just grab the ball. You hide in a corner, and that's the game. You're done. Yeah, players just shoot the man. What about it? Okay. <laughs> Fair. I a lot of the push times out, I find infinite works best in like a, a smaller, maybe slightly more open map. As far as my experience goes. What's like your the... favorite Halo game mode? Uh... This is not a good sign. <laughs> the problem Probably is I'm just named. I don't know. Mine's... I, I think normally the one I, I was having the most fun flag. Last... I like capture the flag, but I don't know if that's my favorite. Last I played was like... um. Husky Raid, I want to say. Infinite Raid is fun. Um, oh no, not Makovic. We cared so much about him. And, and his creepy like, doll it's... face. <laughs> oh yeah. The the face isn't he's Oh uh, well thank god but, Campo's um, okay. You fucking but dog. um with Halo 1 and 3, honestly, I just do team deathmatch. That's the most fun. Especially Halo 1, because it just ends up being Wake at times. Because everybody's speeding around and has no idea, like, no idea what's going on. Maybe if I'd have done something different, they won't still be here. This is a war. And again, especially on smaller it's maps where it's just like no one no. is, everybody's jumping around and there, there is no visible thing in sight except for two frames. Ah, jeez. I think I need to go to sleep. I'm on three hours of sleep when I got off a 10 hour shift. Friend oh boy. Week. Real issue. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay, I'm not gonna take an oddball hater, an oddball hater's flack. Right? <laughs> it Real sucks, issue. come on. <laughs> you suck, Ray. But that's besides the point. You absolutely suck. Beyond all belief, yes, but come on. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go lay down. I'm probably gonna go to sleep because I believe it's this level and then the final level. I I need to go to sleep because I'm not awake. Yeah, go to bed. So, Just do by. what uh, what's his face did all those years ago and just fall asleep on stream. Yeah, I I now. That's I'm not. Was. Yeah, I I did that before. <laughs> I've fallen asleep on stream before. I think it was for Dying Light Two. I fell asleep on stream. Did I play any sports? Yeah. I played many sports growing up because my parents always wanted me to be in some kind of a sport. Um, but I was I never really enjoyed them all that much. Um, I, I liked uh, uh, swim team fine. I was really good at that. I was... I was number two in my age range in the butterfly stroke, which was 14 to 19, I think. So I beat out a couple of, like, 19-year-olds. I might have been 14 to 18. I can't remember. Um, but I just... 
Yeah, sports were never really my thing. I did track and field. That was my. Th oh, that and soccer was my thing. Why was Dima in Iran with the Russians? Ooh, story. Oh, we're like, well, this this story will be interesting if we put if we tell it non-linearly, right? We're like, okay, what if it's not actually an interesting story? It's like, well, if we tell it non-linearly, that'll make it good because like Pulp Fiction was non-linear and that was good. Like, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was playing some uh, some Jackbox game where someone was a liar, they didn't get the right prompt, they had to raise their hand or hold up an amount of fingers, so on and so forth, and. I was a liar. No, wait, no, I wasn't a liar. And the question was, did you do any sports in high school? And I, I was like, yeah, I do. I, I did. I did track for a very small amount of time, but my grades were dog shit, so I was taken out. And so I rose with my hand. Nobody fucking believed me, and my brother was on the team. <laughs> I felt so betrayed. So they all voted me, and it, nothing happened. I'm like, yeah, you assholes. So I'm not. I'm just gonna do nothing now. Fuck you. Oh, so it's part of the uh, the stream where we don't do anything. See if we get consequences. Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> all right, chat. Reverse questionnaire. What's your favorite game? What's chat's favorite game? Uh, we'll just give you a bunch of answers. So, how long do you want to wait, chat? <laughs> Every time I see BG3, I just think background 3, and I'm like, what the fucking game is that? See what's going on in the Discord. There's a new person who joined. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough time. <laughs> yeah, there's no consequences. <laughs> ah, the sun. And the battlefield thing. I'm just trying to set up Discord bot stuff right now, and this is a pain in the ass. Yep. It's always fun. What if I just don't press the uh, parachute button? <laughs> just Surely they'll have to fail you, right? They're like, alright, this part's kind of dumb and boring, but it'll be cool if we play the battlefield theme over it. It just opens it for me. Fucking lame. Uh, let's see. Now here's here's a question for you, worse than you think. What do you like about Red Dead Redemption 2? You just like absorbing the atmosphere without actually like playing yourself and just following exactly what they want you to do. Is that what you enjoy about it? Because it's uh, the, it's the, the gameplay is just nothing. You just if you don't uh, do exactly what they want you to do, which most of the time is just follow NPCs around, it's just nothing. I like it when the horse is shit. Because, <laughs> like, I guess if, if people are just into absorbing the atmosphere of a game regardless of the actual gameplay, I can totally understand that. The majority issues is the campaign linearity. Yeah, well, the campaign is kind of the most important part and the thing that you interact with the most. So, like, how can you have problems with 
the campaign's linearity and also it be one of your favorite games. Like, if the gameplay sucks, how could that be a favorite? Yeah, don't, I can't remember right now what game it was, but I was playing a game recently, I'm just not liking it. I'm like, maybe it... Maybe I just don't like the game. I just don't have fun with it. My car. Are any of these cars' tires moving? It doesn't look no. like it. They aren't. <laughs> okay. How do you just have an unencrypted radio in some goon's car? I don't know. I don't know. I don't because those issues aren't enough to ruin the story. So, okay. So, okay. Right. I guess for some people the story is more important in, in a game than the gameplay. <laughs> I always forget that that's for a lot of people that's fine. Where they just, the, if the story, if they like the story, it doesn't matter if the gameplay is dumb. Because, for me, the gameplay is the most important part of the game, otherwise I would watch a movie. <laughs> or a television show. Like, what's the point of playing a game with dog shit gameplay if I could do something else? <laughs> okay, that was kind of awkward. Bang! Do you like games on their music design? That's kind of a nebulous question. I mean, in general, yes, but that doesn't really... I mean, good, good music design is good music design. Yeah, I'm not going to play a game for its music, but... There are times when I do open certain games to just listen to the main music I don't like. Yeah, but if I want to do that, I'll just open them up to music or Spotify. This right. happened to me last time I played five years ago. Getting hit by those fucking missiles. <laughs> God, that mission is also been like, so long. Yeah, sometimes it it's like I, I kind of just want to boot up a game and it's like I technically want to play, but then I just listen to music. I'm like, okay, I'll just listen to music. And then I'm like, I'll go do something. Else. Like, uh, I love the Sonic Frontiers uh, OST. But I'm not gonna open it just to listen to the music. I'll just pop open the playlist on YouTube. Yeah, I, I mean, sometimes the problem is the OSTs that are uploaded aren't quite what's used in, in games. There's certain games that modify the soundtrack that we yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and then something. like on Spotify, the Halo CE soundtrack, uh, that guy was just in that car. The, the Halo CD soundtrack doesn't have, like, the versions of the songs that are played in the game, like Covenant Dance. Yeah, no. It's just completely different. Yeah, I remember because the uh, Sonic Frontiers uh, OST wasn't published immediately. People were data mining the game to upload the soundtracks on uh, <laughs> YouTube. That happened to Persona 3 Reloaded. <laughs> so. It took like two to three weeks after its release for, for the devs to be like, all right, we got it uploaded, and everyone's like, we already did it ourselves, you coward. You consider games well, as an art form, so atmosphere and writing and gameplay are all somewhat able to carry one if the others are exceptional. See, I, I guess I just disagree with that, and that's that would be my personal opinion versus yours, is if the gameplay is not good, that is the primary driving factor of whether or not I think a game is good. Because it doesn't matter how good the atmosphere is, or how good the writing is. The writing could be fucking exceptional. But if the gameplay sucks, I'm gonna fucking hate it. <laughs> I, I, like, you don't have to, like, the whole point of a video game is the interactivity and the elements that you as a player get to interact with. So if you're not going to make that good, why fucking bother? 
Right. If the general design of a video game is not doing its job, then it's failed, and the core of it has failed. So you're like, not if you're really gonna design to... a game and you don't give a shit about the gameplay, just make a movie. <laughs> and you can do that with UE, funnily enough. So yeah. you could do that if you really wanted. And it's completely subjective too. Like, if the Modern Warfare Three campaign, the 2023 version, if that was made into a movie and uploaded. I would have preferred that. Same. Because over half of the uh, the campaign is cutscene. Like, I don't even want to have to buy the games. I just want to watch the cutscenes in a movie. Thing. I watched the cutscenes for God of War Ragnarok because the way that that game is designed would drive me fucking insane to try and well, play I it myself. Game. But the, the story is really good. But I would fucking hate right. that. I would never play through that because of the way it's designed. I want to play through it again, but I don't have the PlayStation 5 anymore. There, there are a number of games that I've slowly turned into. I'll just go watch the cutscenes. I don't want to actually play them. Have I played Dishonored? Yes. That reminds me of, of Prey 2017, actually, because that's a game that I can actually load up and just play at random. And, like, random shit will happen. I wanted to play through Prey 2017, but there was a point where I played for, like, three hours, died, and there was no autosave for some reason, so it just put me back to the beginning of my session. I haven't touched it since. That's fair. I, I don't... Because I already beat it once, I don't really play it at this point for the yeah, for like getting through the story. I just kind of play it, dick around with the random stuff that happens. It was fun. Not replay three four hours of my life. Fun. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, and you're not really like getting all that much of the story anyway, unless you do the side stuff, and you get a lot more of it. Yeah, at that point, I, I'm pretty sure I just watched uh, a YouTube video of, like, all of the end game choices or whatever. Yeah, for the end, for, like, the main story, you can kind of just watch videos. For anything side combat-wise, it's actually better if you just play uh, If you just play the actual game. Yeah. Uh, there was another topic on my head, but I had to sneeze, so I completely forgot it. <laughs> he said, Weird duck, go. Oh, like, oh, yeah, okay. Hi, thank Weird you for opening the door for me. To, uh, did the sun just move? I think so. Oh, I feel but, um, gun now. For, there's a, a game that I always seem to be able to come back to after, like, not playing it for two years is, like, Star Wars. That's a weird one that I can nearly always come back to. What did you say? Oh. Uh, a game that I can nearly come back to. No, what, what, what was the name of the game? Star Wars The Republic. Say it again? Slower? Yeah, Star Wars and... The Republic. Okay. <laughs> Star Wars The Republic. That's all you thought, okay? Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I can nearly always come back to that game, even a year of, like, download. Yeah, series I replay, I used to replay it once every November, but now it's like once every other, was, um, fucking the Dishonored series. I would replay that over and over. I don't know, I just like the formula and everything of it. And then they did, uh, yeah, the devs did Deathloop, which I thought was fun, but I it has <laughs> no replayability. Yeah. Like, let's design a roguelike that isn't actually a roguelike. Which was wacky. Yeah, like, I tried to replay it, I'm like, oh, I can probably do these now. Nope, exact same formula. Okay. If I were to gain popularity, would I start different channels for different content? Uh, probably not. I'd probably just keep it on the one channel. 
I don't really see the point in splitting it up unless it would, unless I happen to get like so big that I'd be putting out so much content that it would warrant that. But one of the things the I wanted to do reason... is um, I've wanted to um, start going back to mocap stuff because um, like I have ideas for mocap projects. I just don't have like the time to learn it all with Blender and. Um, the, the scope of what I want to do would require, like, the help of some other people to, like, ease the burden on me and, and help me with, like, things like modeling, specific things that I would need, or, like, shot composition and things, because I don't know that myself, and, like, writing, um, besides, like, general, pro like, plot structure I could do myself, but it's, like, specific character writing I would probably need help with. If you need help with labeling your stuff. At me if you need me. Need help with labeling? No, with blender stuff. Blender stuff, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cause if I don't know something, especially I can always tap somebody else that probably know it. What did um is that for animation? <laughs> yeah. That was just a linear fucking keyframe. Maybe it is okay if I'm not good at it. Hey. <laughs> so something like that makes it into a triple A game. <laughs> the door just was so. <laughs> yeah, it's just a linear keyframe. Point A, point B, go. Uh, what's your opinion on the Alan Wake series, given that it's more story focused at the cost of gameplay? Never played. Uh, somebody needs to play control, or at least that's my. I like control. Control is a lot of fun. I think um, it could do a little bit better enemy design to to make them a little more fun to fight. But I think it was overall pretty fun. I also yeah. I think control was not weird enough. It should have been weirder. And I can I I can kind of understand like they're introducing people to like a new IP, so they gotta. They'll make it weird, we but like it kind weirder, of just normal the... weird. But yeah, it should have been way weirder. The, it was going to be, as far as I understand, art-wise anyway, it was going to be weirder, but I, they made a move to like the weird like office space kind of looking place. Oh, I like I the, the I like the office space thing. I just I think that the plot should have been weirder, and there should have been more right. about like the stuff they deal with and weird consequences. Because, like, the weird stuff was good, it just didn't go far enough. Right, I think they were going to make a lot of that much weirder, but I think they had to they had, they had to introduce a lot of stuff that they were going to use for other games, I think was the problem. Hmm. Uh, they were using that as almost a springboard to other things that they would eventually come back to later to, to tell more of the control story. Which is not a great thing for a game like that, because you kind of want it to stand on its own, but mm -hmm. I guess it is how it is. Uh, have you ever tried story-driven platformers? You ever play Mario? Like Brink? Not Brink, what is it, Braid? I've never played a story-driven platformer. The closest thing to that is near the Oh boy, Red Room. On uh, the Battlefield 3 laser sights, which just fucking blind you. Get blinded, idiot. <laughs> oh, uh, Iconoclast, The Messenger, Shovel Knight, etc. Shovel Knight's not a story driven platformer. <laughs> Stor st story driven means that the story is, is focused on over the gameplay. I don't know about the Messenger or Iconoclast. I've, I've actually never heard of Is the Messenger the one that's supposed to be like Ninja Gaiden? Because that's also not a story-driven platformer. Yeah, the, I think the biggest thing for on, on platformers is like, uh, uh, it has to be a Metroidvania. What? 
Oh, I'm just making a callback to all the fucking Metroidvanias you had for the demo fest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That reminds me of um, Metroid Prime Hunters on like, uh, what was it, the DS? Uh, oh, did I? Was there a quick time event yeah, that I didn't see? Time, yeah. Oops, I was looking away. Would uh, I say that visual the... novels inherently can't be great video games? Then, um... yeah. I'll say Ace that's a tough. So, visual novel though. Um, I wouldn't personally call them great, but like, I don't. I think that's an odd choice because I think like a visual novel style if it has like enough interactivity to warrant it being a game that makes a lot of sense um but a lot of visual novels basically you're just literally you're just watching a novelization or a, a novel play out and every once in a while you'll say something that doesn't actually affect the plot but like Doki Doki Literature Club is an odd pick because there is a lot of interactivity with that, especially with messing with game files and things as part of the gameplay, which is kind of interesting from a, like, doing that perspective. And, like, um... And I mean Ace Attorney's part detective game, basically. So, like, you do have to interact with that a fair amount. Yeah. Um... I think the Ace Attorney games could be better, but they're not, like, terrible or anything. You just walk up to this helicopter, and then I walk up right on time. I mean, just because a game <laughs> is simple does not mean it, it no longer is a game. Yeah, no. Wait, what I mean about... Um, exist, okay. No, I knew you didn't mean it as a jab. I, I knew you were asking my opinion, but it's like... Yeah, some simplicity doesn't make a game bad. It's the gameplay of Red Dead Redemption is like a full-on third-person shooter. They've got all these mechanics and things that you are just you. They they set it up as like tools you can utilize to play the game, and then they punish you for attempting to do that because they want you to do it exactly how they have decided, and then they add all this like one-off stuff that they decide to have because it's, um, that's what they want for the linear campaign. And they punish you for not doing it exactly as they want, which is just not good. They literally give you a horse and anatomically correct horse. <laughs> like they put so much effort making these systems for Red Dead and GTA and then make campaigns that don't allow you to use them. <laughs> Well, I think with, I, s I would say four and five, they kind of do. It's it. The problem Not is Clive's they, campaign. Well, okay. Like the, the open world elements and stuff, you can mess around with plenty. You can do that with Red Dead as well. But it's the campaigns that are so bad about it. With with five, if we consider the release version of the game, technically, you can, if you compare it to say the online in that case. Uh, release version planning. of that I know where a lot of what was there in the campaign was there in the online as well it just my freedom um, information you let me go i tell you everything because the online has surpassed going, what what anything the where? campaign is is possible to do in that you kind of just go to the online immediately at that point now and that's the problem with life is there's no point in doing the campaign because the online is just more shit to do. Mm -hmm. The campaign also has better designed missions down the road where like some of the uh, heists and things finally aren't so linear that they fail you after not doing it exactly the way they want and it'll actually right. up, like you, you can fuck up and as long as you don't die and you make it to the end then you can still keep going which is how the missions should have been designed from the from the get-go right because yeah. grand theft auto has and, and red dead redemption have the insane design decisions of having absolutely a thousand more fail states than they have successes so it's like if you do it exactly the way they want that's a success state but if you don't they have like 17 different fail states to tell you that you failed 
It's like, did nobody, when they were writing all these fail states, think about the fact that that's insane? I think in the prior games it was more no, okay. The problem is I think it slowly turned into this piece of you have these very complex missions where Russia, there are like seven Solomon. parts to them Solomon's that have all, have all that number of foul states and now you have to deal with Paris. way more in a mission than you may have originally dealt with in the old games. Pain in the pain in the ass at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, in that this case. cannot happen. Yeah, but Rockstar's mission design is, is way way behind, and I really hope that the next game they don't double down again with that mission design and they actually take some lessons that they learned from the GTA online mission design and make them more open ended and like player choices. Because that's how like other ones, like I, I think Watchdogs uh um <coughs> oh, sorry. I think Watch Dogs mission design is fine where they let you do a lot of stuff open ended and you can approach it the way that you want. The the problem is is that like there's not any interesting interactions when you do them different ways. Cuz ideally yeah. for me you should be able to approach missions however you want. And then this is this is insane game development wise, but you should be able to approach missions however you want. And if you approach the mission the same, if you, if you approach every single mission exactly the same way, there should be interesting interactions doing it the same way over and over. So even though you're doing the same thing, it's d different. And, and maybe like because you're do like the game would encourage you to like try a different method, but you can still do it the normal way, and it would just be more difficult that way, or more more like more of a challenge. And not even that, the, the if you do the same thing over and over, the AI should be able to adjust and be like, hey, he's yeah. doing that thing over and over. Which um, they do a little bit in Metal Gear Solid Five. There's yeah. like, oh, this person likes to snipe. Well, we're going to introduce these fake enemies that you will, you, you have to double check that you're not going to shoot them because if you shoot them, they pop and they're going to alert the guards. Or well, this guy in, likes headshots, so we're going to start wearing body armor and... You have to you have to wait until you can see their face because it's covering the backs of their heads. Or right. this guy likes to come in at night, so they're, we're going to add night vision cameras around to make that. And so it's like you can still keep doing it the exact same way. It just becomes more interesting the more you do it because the game is updating itself to deal with your antics. Even even Hitman's, I think it's the escalation mode mm -hmm. does that. Because, like, if you do a thing in, in one mission, it'll, like, it might proc the next escalation to not let you do that thing. I don't remember correctly. I don't think so. I think escalations just add an, an extra step every single time. I want to say there's one game mode where it does kind of stop you from doing the same thing again. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, but that's... That's cool, because that's that's how it should be. Like you, the 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 game should adapt to the player. The player should not have to adapt to the game. The player should not have to follow exactly the game's path. Like that's and what makes games fun is the game, like interacting with the game, and finding these interactions. Is and the game interacting with you, which yeah. ironically the the category to do that most is normally turn based, and that and that's the most of what happens. <laughs> and like that's one of the reasons I like turn-based games a lot is because of that exact reason. Like oh, yeah. even oh, playing from maybe even maybe an hour in of like X2, I'll get a lot of different things than maybe what I played like two days ago. Mm -hmm. Because the AI will adapt even within an hour to me doing random garbage. And even if I'm being serious, Sam, idea, it'll find ways to fuck with me. I'm like, oh, time to try this thing now to see if mm -hmm. I can get around the AI at that point. Trust me. Okay. All right. And that's what more games should try and do. Generally. He says, follow my lead instead of actually telling him what to do. <clears throat> Nice. 
face, Whack you mean uh, through the infinite warfare. And now we're gonna jump out a window. We're not. No. How do you like games with stealth? I tend to hate stealth because the problem I have with a lot of stealth games is that uh, they design it around stealth being the the best way to play, and so you will end up just waiting around a lot, and I find that kind of boring. I think if there were ways to um, mess with the game and in, in stealth ways that wouldn't necessarily be realistic, but ways to like um, force the game to your pace, that would be more interesting of a stealth game. And that's I, I like Metal Gear Solid Five stealth a lot because they have elements of that. Where like there's there's not a whole lot of waiting involved, but there definitely still is in some cases. That's why I like playing uh Deus Ex Mankind Divided, because that's what I can do in a lot of levels. I can kinda make it jog down to my pace where I'm like, I can do this, this thing, this thing, and this thing. Yeah. However slowly or quickly I want. But the yeah, the thing with me is like a lot of um the best stealth games are ones where stealth is just optional. And like even with Metal Gear Solid V, like stealth is probably still the best way to play, but you don't have to do stealth, and the game encourages you to do it with rewards and things, but you can totally just like um, play it a different way, and the game doesn't like punish you for doing it that way. It's just kind of harder, but they do have tools and things to be able to play the game that way if you want to, and I find that very interesting. It's like um, same with like the Splinter Cells, where like the Pure stealth focused splinter cells are not as fun to me as the ones where stealth is optional and you can choose to do it other ways. Yeah, I love optional stealth, but like, I can't, I'm I can't exactly stealth. describe what my perfect stealth game would be, but I'd know it when I see it, and it's Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth until you're found. I yeah, like, usually I find... stealth is absolutely the worst. I and I don't even stealth. like the... It's like, oh, it's stealth, but you can, like, fail stealth, but then you're, like, not well equipped to deal with it. It's like, that's not fun. Right. <laughs> I, I like it when you can switch between, like, action and stealth, like, in fairly smooth ways. Um, yeah, and that's why I like my kind of because I can do that. I can just be like, okay, I don't want to just kill these guards at random, because fuck it. And then I can do that without it, you know, killing me back as hard. You are good. What's next? Uh, I'm not afraid to die. How about you? Uh, help. Why would you not just shoot the guy that I'm holding hostage? Uh, because that would make sense. Aha, uh -huh, convenient. Like, all these guys are prepared to die, right? They're. That's like kind of their shtick. Also, he was aiming for the shoulder. He would have been fine. I don't know where that guy went. <laughs> the void. God damn it. I love the teleporting when they think it's out of field of view. Ghost Recon Wildlands felt like it did a good stealth action transition. Yeah, both Wildlands and Breakpoint have... You have to... And this is a thing, like, I, I think for, for a lot of people, when a game has this, like, oh, we expect the player to play a certain way, and then the players do that, it's fine. But if you attempt to push Wildlands or Breakpoint in any way it immediately starts to fall apart and you see the limitations of the AI and I think a lot of people don't play games that way which is fine is for them. But like if you attempt to push the AI in Wildlands or Breakpoint they, they get kind of broken <laughs> and it's really easy to break the stealth in the game 
once you figure out where those limitations are and self becomes kind of a joke. Like, if you are totally fine with, like, knowing where those limits are and still playing in the ways that the game intends, sure, that's probably fine. Just, eh. Like, I definitely like to play Breakpoint within those limitations sometimes. Um, but, it, I don't know. It can be pretty easy. We, we, we like to put limitations on ourselves when we play Breakpoint to, like, make it more difficult to, like... I think you can you can mod it with even more limitations last I saw. Yeah, I had played it that way. It was like the Spartan mod or something like that. And there's a first-person mod for the game, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Look, they shoot at the Sibs. Oh, How long have I run ammo? Will handgun. Oh, I just get more ammo. I don't even have a gun. Nice. It's the th same thing in uh, Hardline. Unfortunately, not even a double barrel. How did you end up on the fucking wood? Now they're panicking? I mean, car crashes happen all the time. Like, okay, we need music for this scene, right? You've heard of music? He's like, yes, I've heard of music. <laughs> this campaign is just as bad as I remember, and just as blind and boring. Pick him in the dick. Pick him in the dick. Oh, twist his dick, the forbidden move. Yeah, not, not much of this uh, campaign has really grabbed, like, grabbed a hold of me. It hasn't handcuffed you to it yet. Is that supposed to be a full-size <laughs> brick? Yeah, my hand is large because of the FOV change. Yeah. Sandwich. And that's where the game ends. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, that's the end. <laughs> also, Those Dima has cancer now. For... Oh, okay. <laughs> were not made for uh, that FOV. Nope. Perhaps I will die tomorrow. <laughs> Remember when this was a Q&A? I mean, we answered a lot of questions. Yeah. How did I come up with Cass? I actually answered that uh, yeah, earlier in the stream. No, the real question is, how did you uh, come to make three point lighting? <laughs> how did I come to make what? I have always served three point lighting. Three point lighting. Yeah. Sometimes I was forced. Well, that's easy. That's because it's the very most basic type of lighting and makes things look good. Because it's they've perfected that over many years. I've unironically at this point told. Uh, someone to do, like, or at least show an image of three point lighting now at this point. It's weird because it's like, I don't think I should, I should have cared as much, but it's just like, it, it's decent. Come on. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, meanwhile, it's just me with my green screen and a dollar store lamp pointed at me, like, yeah, it'll be good enough. How long does it take to write the script of Cass? I mean, there's no one length. It depends on the length of the game and. Whether or not I'm like really into it, or if I'm struggling to like come up with names or, or jokes, like if the game is ballpark, that's no, I can't give you a ballpark. <laughs> I mean, typically, I'll write it over the course of a couple of days to a week, but that doesn't mean I'm spending all day doing that. Yeah, there's definitely got to be some days where you just you sit down at the computer, open the script, and be like, I don't feel like it.
he just opens the script, types fuck, and like closes it. <laughs> 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 that, that, those are the days where he writes improv here. <laughs> so yeah, this was uh, one of the top five games of all time. Uh, we've really gone downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> Not campaigns. Place, the engine has gotten so much worse. Yeah. Did you see that they're rebranding Frostbite in recent? It, it's like, that's not gonna help you. That's not gonna help you at all. I should play this again. Yeah, maybe this. when I hit a million, maybe we'll play it again and again. <laughs> we'll play it again, but lower the FOV. Turn it into a PS1 game. <laughs> Delete half of the textures, see what happens. No, you just turn it to like low graphics. You could just straight up use Twitch's um, weird shorts editor thing and just export out to YouTube. Yeah, but Twitch kind of sucks. But it's weird because their weird shorts editor thing is like the best because you just make it once and then you just keep doing it the same way over and over. Yeah, you can just make it out of a clip and just upload it just while you're streaming. Skip the credits. Yeah. But then you can just take that that short that you make and then just put it on YouTube and it works the exact same. Like, you don't lose any anything doing it that way. Which is weird. It's like, okay. All right. Well, we, we talked about music earlier, uh, Nuke, so we'll, I don't need to answer that again. But um, thanks everybody for stopping by and for the people who stayed the whole time because this was uh, <laughs> four hours. Four hours but uh, good night, everybody. And I will probably be making this into a cast, so we'll see. I can't imagine it'll be um, as uh, some some of the moment to moment stuff was not as good as the original had captured, but I think overall it should be better, and I'll have different jokes. <laughs> good night, everybody. Couple, I was, we'll certainly be a couple brain cells. <laughs>